guys, long time no see, Mel Spear here, how y'all doing? And welcome back to the full game release of Subnautica. This game has been out and I have to go over a couple of things for you. <laughs> so yes, it has been a very, very, very long time. I am still in the process of working on stuff because it's the motivation that you need to feel to get motivated to do things. And I've been wanting to stream for you guys for such a long time. But I'm trying to uh, do something. But this game came out and I wanted to play. And unfortunately, my original game, this one right here, nope, this one right here, the one I saved today to see if there is anything. I'm February 26th. I don't know when you guys are going to see this or not. Uh, anything different, which there is. I have to go back and replay everything just to basically have my blueprints that I've already had for Subnautica 1. For my gameplay of 1 of when it was in beta and alpha. So I would have to go all the way back and do it again. So I did. I started the game. I wanted to get back to where we were. Uh, but I have yet to find the Cyclops. You can see down here that I have the sea moth. I have the pawn. Uh, the, the pawn. <laughs> oh my gosh. The pawn suit. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called a pawn suit. Haha, <laughs> I was right. Which I forgot that the name that I named in the first one, I named it Pony Pawn. I remember calling it Pony Pawn. And then I go into my game one and I saw that. I was like, oh, I changed the name. Well, since it was like, you know, new episode and whatnot, I don't remember what I called my SEMA. So we're actually going to go into my old one so I can actually see that. What is the names of my <laughs> vehicles in game one? Then after that, I'm going to back out and I am going to go into game two, which is basically where I'm at. And then eventually I'll play this that game again, my alpha game, of where it was and see what I can create in that game. Now here's the thing that I found out in my game two version. Here's the thing that I found out. Someone put a time capsule. I actually found someone's time capsule and they gave me a knife and fins. I haven't created the fins yes, Those fins that recharge your devices. That is very handy. I have to say that. Uh oh. Okay, it looks like we're still good. <laughs> I don't know if this thing is real loud. Car step now is 1,300 meters. Oh, okay. So, okay, so basically, um, you can see that I still have this stuff here. Nothing has been organized or anything. And my Seamoth is what I wanted to. Oh, it looks like I didn't name it anything. And I moved uh, in this one of uh, the uh, power cells in here because apparently. You can't charge your power cells in your Cyclops, which now sucks. The reactor is in here still, working good, charging up power as it should. I have uh, the bioreactor in here. That's like the first thing that you freaking see when you come in. I might have to change the, you know, the location of that and the other one because I think I have the same thing going on. And then I've added a ladder in here. And look, since I did, the seeds have been sprouting on the green thing, uh, on the gre creep vine, the green thing, oh my god, me. The creep vine, and they're actually sprouted in here for once. So now I can actually go in here, go up to these, tag them, go down to the used planter, and actually make another one. So that is now really awesome. Now here's the thing. You saw those creep vines, right? Now I'm wondering. Congratulations, survivor! You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500 percent. 
data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. And uh, this Be part sure right here is basically for uniform muscle development. Going back to where everything was before, which is driving me absolutely crazy. So anything in here is like a repeat, a repeat, a constant repeat of stuff that I have already gone over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, window. Why not? Let's look out. So uh, while we're still here, uh, you know what? While I'm still in this one, let's take all our materials that we have, you know, just take them all make stuff, make this thing as best we can. Oh, let's make some glass. There's some glass. Whoop, whoop. I can make it some enamel glass if I wanted to. And make a nice little window. There. Now we can look out and see everything. Okay. So that basically made me a view of my hatch, which is also... Well, these guys would probably want to look out, but they can look out. This we want to keep, uh, you know, strong. So we could probably put like a window in here if we wanted to, you know, for them to look out. And we would need glass, so we, which means we would need quartz. So this uh, little project of mine here is going to go, boy. I'm gonna take this and see what this looks like up here before I go. Haha. <laughs> Where did I put it? Right here. There. Now you can look out and see the vastness of it all. Wow. So pretty. You can see um, everything here. And I, this was, when I came back, this was not made yet. Uh, this top layer. I thought I had two in here. I did not. I only had one, which was kind of disappointing. In that regard, it kind of made me upset a little bit. But anyway, the seeds are starting to sprout again. This guy is being sprouted, which is awesome. But that is the whole entire case of this uh, one. This is where I'm saying goodbye to this one. And I'll take you guys on a lovely journey over to the next one. So hang on a minute. Well, hello, and welcome back to Subnautica of the new game. Woo! So you don't know this general location quite yet of where it is, so I thought I'd start on the outside of the new base in the new game. So right here I have the hatch. It's towards the rock for more safety issues, and, you know, little ones and whatnot, you know, you want to have safe. It does not have a foundation. It's basically just here and there. Oh, but you could add a foundation if you so desired. Why do I keep on seeing a... But if I rotate around, you can see a garden of creepy vine up here. And I did not notice this, you know? You could actually put your creepy vine in the exterior of things and have it be here. Ain't that something? So you can actually have your own creepy vine. You don't have to keep on going back and forth and back and forth with things. Hi, Warper! I have this uh, lovely trail going down into my base because, unfortunately, solar power, I'm too much of in the dark spot. I'm 200 meters down, baby! Yeah, I had to get some air. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I will take you I'll do a grand tour of the base in just a minute. So, on the outside, we have our exterior garden for your creepy vine needs. Up top further, if we follow the lovely power line to the top, if we follow the power lines, it's sort of like a guide here. We have more stuff. So, here's what I notice about acid mushrooms. If you chop them, you get some seeds. 
And then you plant. Um, we'll be with you in a minute, alien. Don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Yes, they're still after our butts. We'll grab that corpse there on our way up. On our way up so we are further away from him. He's probably following us. Yes, he is. He's following us. Oh, no. Yes, we have a we have parked again with our dear warper who's probably trailing us as we go. Don't ask us why, but here he comes somewhere. Anyway, this is where our lovely solar power panels are. We basically put them at the end of the cliff. Hi, Warper! Nice to see you, too! It's great to see ya! How you doing? Anyway, so right here is our three solar panels getting us energy, hooking it up to our power connection, swimming it down. 100 meters. To our Oxygen second power connection, decreased. swimming it more down. Which we could put something here. To our next power connection, swimming it more down. To our growing mushrooms and other stuff that is right here. So our third connection, which connects to our base with our other exterior one, which actually glows pretty damn nicely right here. Passing 200 meters. Which connects to the base. Woo! Decreased. We are now being into the base. Welcome to the base. Now, as you can see, I've, since I've been working along, I have put a medical kit right here. I don't think it's ready yet. Is it? Is it ready? No, it's at 47%. Our batteries! Our batteries are being charged. But we don't really need this as anymore, but, you know, it's there just in case we do need it for, like, you know, um, for stuff that we want to build. Our fabricator is here. And, of course, our food. Now, I've added some little plant trees for the watermelon. Instead of using the big, huge inside one, I could use that for the trees and for the potatoes. I put the watermelon into these for cooking needs and eating needs. Yum, 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 yum. Which makes it a lot more convenient. So when I eat one, I can't eat the other ones until I get to about, since it goes like four seeds. So one, two, until I get that one, chop that one, and eat that one. Then I can put a bow back in. <laughs> so that's the story of that. We have, again, our lovely bioreactor in the middle of the floor. And uh, you have already seen it in my thing. We have our coffee maker. The coffee maker is basically like four... Um, for water, uh, since we didn't have a water filtration system yet, until you go down into the purple caves. The purple caves actually have the water filtration system and other stuff, but in different games it does not, which is kind of weird. And as you can see, that the coffee Americano is plus four H2O. Just delicious and also probably wakes you up. We have our garden and then we have things organized. Whoop whoop! Magnemite, stale sacks, blood oil, mushrooms, randoms, lithium, ruby, table coral, and salt. Now I'm not really sure if I chopped this one if it would make more coral but when I chopped it with a knife it just kind of like peeled off so I'm going to say no. So we'll have to go hunting for these. Now for mushrooms, I think I can just like, you know, do, 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 put these out here in the garden that I have outside the exterior garden. Up here, if we go up. Now the reason why I put this here was because I was actually going to use it for something else. So I'm going to... Uh, drop one. Oh shit, here it comes. Hey! -ya! Oh, yep, you get seeds from this, so that's a good thing. And then we can put uh, these guys right here. In this one, so they can grow too. And they kind of grow pretty fast, because that was like only a few minutes, and Nate was already up and running for those. Now the seeds pick up a lot. Oxygen efficiency no, greatly decreased. 36 meters. Oh, okay. Anyway, into the base again for more desirable things. So we have our scanner room over here. Currently scanning um, uraniumite, which we have a 
massive chunk there. But since it's not hasn't finished scanning, it won't show me everything yet. But if we cancel that, we can see everything else that we want to get. Now we have quartz, the magnite, salt deposit, shale chunks, uranite, and wreckage. Yes, I see. But I will still put mushrooms in here. Eh, 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 eh. For organizational purposes. <laughs> and we'll put the quartz back in the locker. <sighs> okay. Now, the hunt right now, the quest is actually to basically to get um, the Cyclops back. So, remember uh, before, my other pawn suit was blue. But in the new game, it is silver, and it's called Pawn Spirit. <laughs> I think we can do better uh, and put this back, or not put it as Pony Pawn. Unfortunately, Pony Pawn is going to be the original is going to be in that. So we're gonna call the silver one Pony Pawn Spirit. Oh, we can't fit it. No. <laughs> Pony spirit. How about that? Pony spirit. We'll call it that. Said uh, he'll be with us in spirit. <laughs> the sun, the sea moth. I called it Esper. Esper sea moth, right? I'm still working on getting another uh, vehicle thing over here. Yes, I made too. So this is called the Esper sea moth because the sea moth is now. Ryan and the <laughs> and the pony pony too or pony spear here now is now silver. Of course, we have our lovely bio reactor right here, and everything is connected. So you go upstairs. This room is still empty. And I'll figure out what I want to do in this room later on. And I've noticed that you can actually, um, I don't know. Wee! Oh, and I forgot to say that I found the water filtration, so that is in here too. Also, I did find the modification station, so the only thing I'm missing is the Cyclops. So I'm almost back to everything where we were before. Except I'm probably better off. <laughs> A lot better off with things and not struggling really hard. Salt deposit, I have one locker for that. I'm not going to make more of this because it there, that thing is always going to consistently make salt, and you can tell right here. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, six more times where it will filtrate up above there. We are going to take out our Esper Seamoth, our Expert Seamoth, that's what we're going for. We can open storage here, and you can see we have creature eggs and all these guys right here. We do have a locker for these eggs until uh, we get the alien habitat again. I still haven't gotten that. Eh. Uh-oh. I think I ran out of room. <laughs> I can only fit like little ones in here now, so that's kind of a bummer. So we're going to have to make a new locker for eggs if I find anything new. Uh, I don't want to put anything out in the vehicle base, so we're going to put it right here. Is that too low? No. How about we call this one Big Eggs? Because they take up so much room in here. So one, two, three, four, five, and two, three, four, five, six. So apparently Big Eggs can only fit about six. And I have two of each, two of each, and two different ones. Two Big Eggs that are different right here. And then we have all these little small ones and an unidentified egg on it. Well, they're all unidentified until further notice. <laughs> until we hatched them. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for this one. Uh, we are now going to go out. Adventuring we go. We're going to try to find... Our mission is to find the engine of the Cyclops. Welcome aboard, Captain. All you can see here, um, I've found a lot of ingredients. Uh, and I feel like I'm much more better off than I usually am. Beacons was a must for me. Uh, the reason behind it because I will show you that in a few minutes. And uh, this you actually get from the captain's quarters when you enter the 
Um, oh my gosh. The Allura. Right? So right now I just need to go after the Cyclops, which is the engine. I am missing two more of the Cyclops engine blueprints is what I'm after. So you can see a lot of beacons have been marked. And uh, we'll go over these right now. So right here, uh, location of where my base is at is in the blood forest. I have changed locations again. Yes, we are in the blood forest. That is where I put my base on top of this cliff. I want to actually extend it out to that one and make a nice little bridge over. I might be moving uh, this guy again uh, to the middle, but if we can do that, that would be so super soaked, stoked. Uh, orb trees are actually that way. That's where my base was like probably originally was somewhere over that way uh, in the old game. Uh, heat and brush trees. Okay, the heat is basically the volcano down below. The brush trees are actually what they are. They're brush trees, but they are, they're basically like water that you can eat. The, I, I marked the mushroom cave in case I have to go back down there. There is like magnite and down there and lithium in that th cave. So I actually marked that. And the mushroom forest is basically um, a place where you can actually go to get um, gel, uh, the gel orbs, I believe. So I have marked that too for purposes. And then you can see how far away I am from the life pod, our life pod. So this way is not marked at all. So we're going to go up because uh, I have not explored the other island yet. But I don't know where I'm at. Oh my gosh, I'm really down deep. Holy crap! <laughs> And you can notice that uh, I'm only at 225 of the tank. Oh, I, I exited. Ha <laughs> ha! So, there's the Azora. So we are at the... Uh, but... End of the Alora. Yeah, I'm having weird graphical dilemmas here. That's very interesting. Okay, we. I have no clue if this is the island I'm supposed to be headed towards, or that is the island I need to head towards. <sighs> but right now, um, the orb trees is where. Feel like a dolphin. <laughs> Bad impression. I know. This is definitely how I believe dolphins do. Okay. I haven't made a compass yet. I think we're going to go this way. Yeah, this way. Um, also, we're going to head towards the orb troops, and I'll tell you the reason why as soon as we get there. We gotta go down. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, nope, nope, I'm heading the wrong way. That's not the way, the way, that's not the way, that's not the way. That's the way. The floating underwater. Okay, so we're not going to head towards the orb troops. We're going to head towards the island. Hello, Island. <laughs> you came into view so quickly. I remember that um, the island basically was. Uh, I ventured out into one of these islands, so we need to just go up just a bit so I can just peek. I don't know if this is the island I was at or. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna put, park it here.
and we're gonna go to inventory. We're gonna put this guy at num okay, fine. Believe it or not, this is actually a lot better than usual because usually without light it's like, oh my gosh, it's so dark. So I'm not sure if this is the island I already explored. Yes, it is. Because that's where I got the inner phone. Holy crap! I never noticed that before! Holy shit! <laughs> well, hello there, Moon. Okay, so I have already explored this island, so we're going to head back to the Seamoth. As soon as I find my way huh? to the river. Okay. And we're gonna put this guy back up. Those are like the two flashlights sort of deal. Now we gotta bend the seam off. There you are. So I've already explored this island, so we're in the wrong freaking state! Alright, give me a minute. I gotta go. Go, go. Okay, so we're gonna head towards the floating underworld, underwater island, is what they call this one. You know, I don't understand why you can't just be like up there. <laughs> yeah, this is where I was before, right here. Right on this rock right here. This is where I was before, wasn't it, guys? Yeah, I was close to the orb trees and whatnot. What the heck are you? I'm gonna get out here. There's something here. Bio reactor fragment. <laughs> I found a bio reactor fragment and I wasn't even trying. Was there, is there something else here? Hello there. Infected. Which is bad. I'm infected. Hey, beefy beef. But in my discoveries of other stuff, um, I've actually found a lot more silver orbs. But I haven't found a lot of copper. <laughs> so anytime I see some things that I think to click, click, click on, I grab them. Hey there, buddy. How's it doing? I'm just driving through. Please don't mind me. And that's not where I want to go. Where is it that I want to go? Okay. Over this way. No. Not that way. That way. There it is. <laughs> I'll eventually have fun my bearings sooner or later. Okay, I know that I'm out of uh, these, so we're gonna pick these up because we are low and stuck. Come back here. Okay, we are no. No. I just thought I saw something. The skin. I don't know what it was. Hmm. Was there something I was supposed to scan? I don't know. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Like about a match. All right. Oh, 
Uh, I think I've already been there. I've heard it. I heard it. Don't know where it's at. There's something here. Gravity trap fragment. I've come back to a lot of the wreckage and see what was like uh, a miss. That was something I missed. I don't know if I gotten everything else from this wreckage. Cause that's the only time I like to take titanium and whatnot. Do, do, do. Okay, we're clear. Clear. Not clear. Don't you hate being not clear? <laughs> Ah! Come here, go pesky little scene, glad. Alright, now we're clear, right? Right? Okay. Now I just need to get my bearings again. Nope. Over here this way. So basically there's a reason why I'm heading over towards the floating isle, well, floating underwater isle. You can see that in the distance because of the graphics. We're actually going to make a stop right here because I see something. So I missed this wreckage. Which makes me wonder what else I missed. Oh, my inventory's full. Me, you're trying to look without getting out. Ha <laughs> ha! Banging up your your spirit, Espa. I only saw since I played the new game. I've only saw the Le Leviathan once. Usually, I see him more than that, but I haven't found him in this game except for once, and he was just Take like. Fluid intake. Okay. It was Vital delicious. Stabilizing. Okay, I don't think I see anything new, except for this. This looks new. What are you? Except I can't have you. Well, that makes me sad, Cephas. Can I have you? <laughs> Get you! Oh. I suck the fish! around again. Okay, hold on. Gotta find my bearings. Nope. Nope. Aha! There we go. So this is why I use these guys. Even though I don't have like the compass and whatnot, I use uh, the beacons to help me find where I'm going. Like, if I want to head to the floating isle, I can. If I want to basically get out and watch him give me his tooth, I can. And that was an enamel tooth. He picked up the scrap and said, mine, and you can have my tooth, thank you. And I'm like, okay, get trade. <laughs> Gravity trap fragment. Doo doo. Hop 
finding so much stuff right now on this this alone. There we go. Which is basically a titanium that I have to bring back to the other base. Mm -hmm. Base one. But when I look for the floating isle, I can find my first start of where I'm like, hey, you know what, I'll put my base right here. Start out. So I didn't completely destroy this base. I was going to, but I was like, eh, forget it. We'll just keep it. The only thing supporting it are actually these two legs, which is actually pretty doggone funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny and hilarious right now. So Welcome what is in here? Captain. You say, well, there's an indoor garden and a lot of these bag storages. It's sort of like a suitcase going on right now. I think we should put in a window right here. I do have those seeds in this one only right now. And we can make glass in here. There's only about 75 power in this, but it's worth it. Now you can see out. Now we can see out and see all the wonders of the world. So that's pretty good. And plus, this is a good time, like, you know, I can go yum, 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 yum. And I can fabricate stuff in here. Since, uh, cook food. Cured food. Like, I didn't make any of uh, waterproof lockers. Uh, small storage space that can make, contain, uh, position, maintain some position in the water. I didn't do that. I don't think there's a necessity to do, to do that. Uh, but I am curious of the pipes and whatnot. Like, floating air pump, floating device that pumps air into pipes act as a starting point for a pipe chain. I am curious about that, but we'll venture in that sort of deal, like, later on. I, like, want to know what that uh, else all about and it looks like I just need copper to make a compass. Uh, let's see, this wasn't in there, the creature decoy times three, that was not in my uh, new game. That was like, you know, the only thing that was there besides me going to find the beacon was um, this, 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 and this. That's it. I have to I had to go refine the beacon, this, and I probably have to go had to go refine that. So it was a little bit annoying. That is the reason why I wanted to like I'm already like way ahead of the game here. <laughs> so we have a table core in here. We have some silver ore, cave sulfur, power cell. We can take as much as we can with us. Oh, I have a salt deposit so we can cure cured food. is now delicious. <laughs> what well, delicious. Empty, empty. Can't pick up. When it says can't pick up, it means there's stuff in there. Uh, storage. Oh, we have a large sample flask. Storage. Another... Oh, the dragon toy will move you. I just wanted to see what's in there, man. Okay, we have some silver ore in here. So, we're gonna make the compass right now. Power cell. Um, we're not gonna make you, sorry. Oh, we only have one. Hmm, 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 hmm. a water. One. Now we can make that. Fabricator, electronics, wiring kits. And we can hopefully need some uh, copper. We need some copper ore. Of course we do. I've gone through a lot of copper ore before, too. 
Um, put you in here for right now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. I have a lot of store copper ore right here. So I called this one like the emergency bunker, more or less. My base gets attacked down below there. Uh, let's see. We want other things. Um, equipment. Yeah, here we go. We just now got all compass. Now we know where we're at. So, I am, am sort of like, if I go from, we'll say, we'll look around here, the base, I am basically south-southwest from the life pod. Like right in between south and southwest. Like right in the middle, which is actually pretty funny <laughs> that I'm like right there. <laughs> Somebody's making noise out here. I'm not really sure who. Okay. Um, I'll take back our copper ore there. And where was I going over here? I know I went. Oh, we were going to the island. But we're really stuffed full with stuff. Crap. That's a problem. You know what? Let's add on to this base. Um, where can we? This way. We'll add on. And we'll go hidden out here so we can see. Yep. Um, key for deconstruct. Deconstruct the window and we'll add this. We'll also add another room. Which gives us about there. Pretty sounds really. There we go. Which gave us about uh, out here. I'm gonna put this here so we can look out. Not right here. Okay. I like them at angles for some stupid reason. There you go. Now we can see out. We can see out in the angle. That way we can see out and look out and see everything and feel so great about ourselves. And uh, we're going to add another tunnel. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually we will. But yeah, you can see how, how fast you can basically get through your uh, titanium and whatnot. <gasps> it's so much fun to build, man! Love it. Oops, sorry. 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 This will be the second base that's over here, and this one is basically by the floating isles. So you can go all the way straight down. You can see that one over there, and you can go straight down some more. Uh, I 
still want to go straight down. I want to go out more. Yeah. Take a look over this way. Okay. Uh, three. Got some more. There we go. It's not quite out there yet. I kind of want to keep on going. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so that's what happens. So you can see that you need like a lot of titanium. Lots and lots of titanium. So I'm going to farm for a bit, guys. Uh, we will get back to going to the aisle in just a minute. Been a long little journey again. Uh, welcome back, guys, to another fun episode of Subnautica. And we are gonna just, you know, jump right in. It. My old data is still here. I'm going on to the new game play. And I'll show you guys what I have done to my new underground base. And what I have done to the other under underwater base. <laughs> Underwater. Underwater. <laughs> Hope you guys like it. It was really fun to create. My kitty's on the naughty list. Oh, nice. Bag roll. Bag roll. You guys might not know this, but it's actually a 2 a.m. in the morning. And I won't be recording long. And it probably will feel like a few seconds for you, but call me. It is at night, and I'm just doing a little bit because I said we were going to explore this island again. And you just heard Lucky. Yes, she's still here. Yeah, you dried up nicely. Yeah, she had a bath. The only reason why she had a bath. And welcome back to a game called Sipnaga. Me and Lucky are here on uh, the new old, well, not the new, but the new old island, whatever you guys want to talk about it's about. Of course, uh, a lot of people have been playing this game lately. And <laughs> I'm being mauled by my kitty cat right now. Ah. I can't seem to start a gameplay without my, yeah, this kitty cat coming to my rescue. Anyway. The flashlight, uh, I feel like is very handy in this game. I saw something over yonder there. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Can I see any? Oh, wrong thing. Ah! Guess that's a nope. Okay. Continuing on my wonderful journey. How you doing there, buddy? Well, I got something for you, don't worry. I brought it with me. There you go. And now I'm gonna switch back and scan you. That's right. There you go. Terminal. 
I'm gonna hit tab on that and see what the heck it is. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. Well, no let's... match is found in database. Okay. Performing structural analysis. Okay then. This advice mach matches no known technology. Okay, well, you know, it's alien. Hello. Get out my trusty little knife here just in case I have to deal with shit. Don't ask me what. I make my own noises. Forget copyright music. We'll just make our own noises. Hey, look. It's a G string. Woo! Or six. It's a six. Can I see it? Oh. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Please do. Uh, discovered island alien facility it was not possible to translate useful information. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Mm. I don't want to read it all because I find it a little boring. I just like getting into the game. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Roger. I'm just, you know, exploring through. Oh. Hello. Well, first we'll scan you. Then we'll pick you up. And look at you. All interesting, like, hmm. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Okay. Hello. Hello. Huh? Boing. Oh, another cube. I picked up two cubes. Huh? And there's some data over here. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Please do! Um, don't really know. Oh, I feel like it's telling me the same doggone thing as it before. Except adding maybe a little bit more text to it. Hello. Message coming down. The whole. Oh, shit. Whoa! Okay. That's nice. Okay. Okay. That's an interesting elevator. <laughs> nice little bay area. Okay. You guys have any parts for me? Yes, not. Okay. Music just got a little bit creepy. Okay, no, shut up. What the fuck? <laughs> Creep me out, then shut up. That, that's great. That's just wonderful. I haven't been down here in forever, so it's like uh, deja vu, really experiencing the game all over again, getting all new types of feelings and uh, jump scares, and what the heck are you over here? Where are you? Alien rifle? Alien rifle? Strong resemblance to a human weaponry in form, the device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the alien that built this structure were themselves humanoids or otherwise employed the use of a humanoid is unclear. What is clear is that they consider defending this facility as necessary precaution. This is there is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Interesting. I know I'm, I'm seeing I'm getting a little low. I don't think I packed anything, did I? Except for water. Yeah. I packed water. I'm good. <laughs> We're good on water. We're gonna starve to death. That's all.
Alien Architect Arch. This structure intended purpose is, inclined, is unclear. Theories on function. Cre moral or religious role and industrial application advanced transportation network. Yeah, I would say the advanced transportation network. Because we already know what it does. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with cubes, though. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hello. Looks like there's more cubes over here. Picked up another cube. Put it in my inventory. Don't know where to. I'm going anymore. Last upstairs. What's upstairs? I feel like this facility got bigger. Oh, there's something up here. What are you? Doomsday device. Scans indicates the device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet. Along the with along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Well, thank goodness for that. Jeez. Oh, there's something down there. Ah, oh, crap. I want to jump so bad, but unfortunately that would hurt me. Purple tablet. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol with resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, allergy growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. So excited to learn stuff. So excited. I have to run now because my food's getting low. And you guys don't have anything for me to eat in here. Nothing tasty. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Well, there you go. stuck on things. I don't like it. God damn, I get stuck on things so much in this place. Hello? Oh! My hand. My hand. My hand is... Ah! I forgot about you. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Okay then. I will scan you. Because I could. Background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Well, self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Oh boy.
Yeah, yeah, it just. <laughs> I have to stop. Okay, so, um. So, as we know that we are infected, as. We do know. We are infected. We are basically trying to survive. Trying to figure out what we need to find, figure out to basically uh, survive and whatever other ingredients that we need to figure out to survive. Huh? And we're huh? going huh? to scan whatever that is over there huh? as we jump. Huh? But, um, oh, your stasis gun, your rifle that I have scanned. And we are looking around. We are uh, somewhere again. <laughs> Okay. I'm just trying to leave now. Get out of this stupid thing. Let me out. Let me out. I want out. I'm going to pout about it. Thank you. So we're 91 meters down below. And we're somewhat need some... Going up! <laughs> Why do I feel like Superman doing this? In this elevator? Green Lantern ish. <sighs> and we're off! I just yawned. I don't know why. But I did. I need to get out of here now. We need to find some food. We need to find some food. We need to find some food right now. Hello. Well, that didn't give me anything. Productive. I'm going to be coming back to this island uh, very shortly. So, we'll see you guys in a few minutes because I gotta go get some food! Okay, we are basically on our way back. But what I want to do is see if I can find the see if the cyclop engine is around here somewhere. Now, I know I could basically go on uh, on the island and explore around, but we're gonna explore around the island first, and hopefully not run into any fucking issues that just scared the living shit out of me. Oh, hello. How you doing, there, Warper? How you doing? I'm trying to stay above in case there's a leviathan around this island. I'm a little bit. What the? What are you? Oh, you're just a plateau. Okay. Oh, there he is. There he is. I knew he was around here. There's a leviathan. He's right down there. Oh, there he is. There are two of them right here? Shit, man. Woo! What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Oh shit. Okay. Okay. I think we're safe now. Okay, getting out. Are you 
the engine. Yes! You are! I've been looking for you everywhere. I still got one more to go. Shit. <laughs> but yes, there's one. The one is on the island, but I don't know where the other one is. I ran into one of them. Unless that's it. Let's park right here. Let's park right here. Get out. Swim around. Jump around. You're a rock. I suck. This sucks. <laughs> hey, peeper. I'll pick you up. Since you were having such a hard time. We're gonna go down. Maybe? I gotta watch my oxygen if I'm gonna do this. I don't wanna risk um, Esper there. Because we know Monsieur Leviathan is somewhere. And he's got me a little nervous. <laughs> So we found one engine, or two engines, and we'll use the flashlight here to look around the island, to look around the island, cause they're looking now around the island. Uh, that's so creepy. Hello there. There. Huh? Uh huh. Seriously? Huh? Okay, jump up here. Okay then. So, the ship of the Aurora is over on this side. Man. The Aurora basically burns forever. I always thought, like, in the very beginning that the Aurora was Subnautica. The planet is called Subnautica. Right? Here on our island, the Subnautica. Where we jump around and jump around and not find a dilly squat because it sucks so much. Yeah. Get me up there! Oh, I got up here, finally. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted, man. Like, why was it so hard to parkour? I don't know why. Why is it so hard? What are you? Huh? Huh? Of course you wouldn't let me up there. Why would everything anything be easy? Why would things be easy? Why? I'm not really sure. I found one Cyclops engine, which is our two Cyclops engines, and I'm not sure about what the third one is. As I don't remember! <laughs> Diamond! Well, I thought, like, you know, 
it was around. Oh, hello. Come back! <laughs> Oh, there's something up there, too. Looks like there's a cave. Things going on up there. There's a, looks like a path. I believe it's a path. Mm. Oh! Look what the daylight brought me. A purple tablet. So excited. So I have another purple tablet. Man, these things suck. They're always leaving me. <sighs> when you want to scan them, you can't. Got him. Sky rays. The sky rays has a bird-like head and feathered wings, which enable to fly. Sky rays are commonly found circling floating structures and rarely venture far out to sea. They will perch on dry land, but are prone to flee on approach. Wings. Although its wings give it some resemblance, its silhouette to the water-bound born rays on four, five, four, six B and else it shows no greater genetics. Okay. <laughs> All right, you gotta get ready to fight now. Cause I see you. You stay away from me. You stay away from me. You stay away from me. Yeah, I know your friends are right behind me. I'm coming to you. One gender. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Eat it. Huh? Uh. Hello. I don't come in peace. <laughs> I didn't see him. I just found in here. Oh, great. You must be the boss in here. hey -ya! Oh, you hit me. Yeah. Huh? Bitch! Don't like you. Nah, you can't do anything. Oh, there you go. I turned on the bright light. And I guess this is now linked. Alien flora sample. Thanks. I ate a little bit. Uh, this leads to a window. That would lead me outside.
which led me closer to my other base. Awesome. Unfortunately, my sea mouth is over yonder. Okay. I'm running into things. Haha! <laughs> Okay, can we go back through? Yes, we can! <laughs> so weird. Okay, going to continue our exploration of this lovely little island, and we're going to kill this friggin' thing! We had two lovely hits. So we can shut the hell up. Oh, we'll take we'll take you. Lot of resources here. <laughs> I just went out, man. Let me out. Oh my gosh. I'll take this him again. I can see some silver ore. <laughs> I think I'm out. I'm out. Okay. No. You stay away from me. Okay. Floating underwater aisles are right there, but I need my sea moth. Wherever it is. Huh? Ooh. Let me get my bearing. Oh my gosh. There's another one? Okay, at this point I'm going to save <laughs> before I lose progress or die or something. Uh. I have no clue where I'm going, but I'm going. I felt like I just won a huge circle. Oh, hello. Let me load. <coughs> it's like, shh! Can't get down. All right. <gasps> uh, splash. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for like a cylinder like object thing. Oh, nuclear reactor. <laughs> Uh. 
Where you look for show, we need and you can't find it. Do 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 do. I just see something new. Grab you. New creature discovered. Going around the island, try not to die. Going around the island, maybe come. What the heck is this? Oh. Some titaniums around here. What are you? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. <gasps> I found the cyclopedian! Yay! We can finally make these cyclops! Unexpected find it like that! Yay! I'm scared of the bag bed. I'm excited. I found what I needed. Now we gotta build it. <laughs> All right. See, I want to go down low to see if. Uh, Leviathan, uh, anything is down there. So it was around here. So, yay! So the other one was on this side of it, and then another part of it was on the other side down lower. Well, that's good to know! So we found Welcome the Cyclops parts. Captain. Okay! So, I am going to end this episode right here, guys. If you're enjoying my series and my perspective of Subnautica, please remember to hit that like button. If you want me to continue, I'm probably going to continue anyway if I don't get any likes, but I hope you enjoy my series of that and we'll see you guys in the next episode and hopefully we made more progress and I will start out with the Cyclops being built and then we'll proceed from there. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye! Hey guys, Millie Spear here and you know, you know, we're just waiting for the sunbeam. To basically come down from the seven somewhere. <laughs> uh, up from the sky and come pick us up and then get destroyed by this thing. That's what we're doing right now. Just, you know, counting down and waiting. It'll probably be a few seconds for you. It'll be, uh, you know, about five minutes for me. <laughs> No, okay, we are almost here. The gun is starting to move again. Seek fluid intake immediately. I'm died, dying right now from the end reason. Well, almost, but soon to be. Yep. Near. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, um, 8. Um, don't do it. Do it. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. If I was basically on this island right now, and I just saw that happen, I would probably be screaming, no, really loudly. And panicking. Very much so. Huh? 
Right now, we need to head back to base before I basically dehydrate and starve to death. <laughs> well, not officially starve to death because I have just grabbed some Welcome fish. Aboard, Captain. But I'm basically going to get dehyd dehydrate some more. So my closest base is this one here, so we're going to go there. And you can see all the stalker teeth that are around. Hi. <laughs> what is it doing? It went to reset mode. What the hell? I didn't know what to do that for. I usually just fired and that was it. But your planet is under quarantine. You can't do anything about it. I know. I'm dehydrated. So running is out of the question right now. So my stomach is like turning into a shrivel sort of deal. This is going to start to hurt. Fluid intake. Ugh. Uh, to get there. Welcome <gasps> aboard, Captain. We'll do that. Look how slow I'm moving. Vital signs stabilizing. It's like you can't move. Vital signs stabilizing. Now, I am curious about one thing. Adding these fish in there. Because they're organic life. Alright, so this is now, and um, I'm going to take this, this, I think I put my Cyclops in, in a thingamabob. It's very hard to keep talking, you know? <laughs> excuses me, excuses. Towards our other base. We need depth perception, so I need like my radio or something. Now, rar to you too. So we're past the sunbeam. A thing that you guys did miss is my lovely little freak out since um, like it happens all of a sudden is uh, some sort of weird alien thing basically saying to me, telling me, what are, am I? What am I? And I'm just like, uh, hi there. 
I'm just like, hi there. Mm, shut up, you. I'm busy. Whoa! <laughs> she almost drawn like myself into stuff. <laughs> <sighs> So it's mostly titanium that I'm like running out of. And that happens a lot, and it's always creepy. And that happens, so. Oh. We gotta make sure we go to the right one. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Kathy. So, do 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 SEMA sonar, a dedicated system for detecting and displaying typographic data on the head. I'm kind of curious what that does. But I also want to like to get this, so it's three titanium and arrow gel. One, two, three. And I know I have the arrow gel, and I really got a bind for titanium. See, there's a lot of things I still have to create. Like this needs to advance. Aerogel, where did I do with it? I used to make some. I just seen what I did with the. There it is. Also, need to fabricate. Um, the repair tool again. Let's get that <laughs> before I do anything. <laughs> Salt. Put that in there. Rub that. I know a lot of stuff is going to need magnemite, but and a lot of stuff needs his titanium, so this is going to be fun. Okay, sea moss. We need a uh, copper wire for the sonar, but we need this, so we need one more titanium. I thought I had enough. Ha ha! Guess not! I want to have my uh, Seamoth to have some protection. So we're building this one. I uh, fucked up. Well, well, here's that for the torpedoes, but that's not what I want to do. Huh? Where is it? I'm looking around. Oh, right there it is. Like, where is it right there? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I didn't mean to make that one. But it's made. The one I wanted was this one. Not that one. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. 
Alright. Uh, what else can I make? Uh, crystalline sulfur. I haven't figured out those ones out. Uh, nickel ore. I haven't found that one yet. I haven't found kyanite yet. Or, and I know how to make polyanite. And benzine. I haven't found gas pod. Generate a localized gravitation distortion. Load this to a vehicle torpedo bay. I'm not going to make that. doesn't stack. Uh, Plasteel Ignites, I have to make those, one of those and I have to find Nicola. I know where Ruby is, but I don't know where Nickel War is. So yeah, so I have to explore a lot more still. Let's drink some water. I also have to find um, other suits. I haven't found those yet. I wanted me to do that. It's driving me nuts. Um, do that. What was it that I wanted to make? This. Polyan line. That's what I want to make. I want to make polyan line. So what do I need for that? It's a chemical. Gold and hydraulic acid. I need dead mushrooms and salt. Okay. Which I have. As soon as I find mushrooms. Okay, there's our salt. And there's our dead mushrooms. Polyol. I make <laughs> wiring kit. Not in this one. Wiring kit. There we go. So this will, um, I didn't mean to do that, but obviously we're launching. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing two. This is more or less if I, I'm Oxygen efficiency on the least decreased. sort of deal. Okay, so we need to do some exploring down below and see if we can find anything lower down and not drive me crazy. Hello and welcome back to another full episode of Sinatra. <laughs> oh, guys, isn't this view nice? It's nice, but it's also very scary if you're out here in the open ocean and you don't know what's down below. 
the yeah welcome my vehicle bay is right there I basically said I'm right here but we're gonna go in here for a minute the uh, things that you missed uh, let's see uh, there was some sort of weird demon like creature this jump scared me again this is Sunbeam you know Aurora we're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda and we have a saying there there's no bad without the good no good without the bad sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter no. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Okay. So, there's somewhere up above. Somewhere. You know, I always forget to grab this stuff to take with me back to the main base. Get it off. Okay. But the reason why I'm at my life pod and not at my face as well, you can hear that. I figure, you know, we can always come back to the life pod just to hear that. And to talk to my vehicle bay here. So for Neptune Escape Rocket, we need all this stuff to start building for that. You know, it's like, you, you know, I could probably make this. And for Cyclops, I need this, which I do have all that. I just forgot to get out of you. And I just picked up everything that just I should need. But we can do this since I'm a little low. And this since I left without e drinking stuff again. I'm such an idiot. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Okay, we can get as much as that. So we're going to put in the silicone rubber because we don't really need that. We don't really need a salt. So we're going to do this for the salt. We're going to just sign the salt. Drop it. Because our water filter gives us enough salt to salt the sea to make it so salty. Undesirable. Okay, so. Nope. They don't have all the ingredients yet. Yeah. Just go into stuff and I just want to. Um, didn't mean to do that. It's this one down here I need. There we go. Now we're good. Now we should be golden. Now we're just gonna find our bearings again. And my cat just jumped up. Hi. You know, I, I seem to not be able to stop an episode without you jumping up and saying, Hey, I want to be part of it. You know that? You know that? You, you don't be part of it. These guys are awesome. They're the best uh, mechanics ever. Okay. Here we come. Oh, lovely. It's Cyclops. By a three person crew. Three Only person crew. Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Only experience says to pilot this solo. So, this is basically piloted by a three person crew, and yet it's only me. Oh boy. Boy. You think it would just flow, but no, it just slowed right down. Thank you guys. We'll be back with you guys again to build a rocket ship to get the hell out of here. To work here and buy the gear. Uh, as soon as we find our. I was like, as soon as we find our Cyclops, I was like, okay, I swear they built it over that way. Where is it? <laughs> it's over this way. And the best thing about the Cyclops is that uh, I can put my vehicle in it. Yeah! Systems online. <sighs> and we can close that. Oh, wow. So the Cyclops used to just only have four, and now it has six. So there's an upgrade right there. For me, <laughs> yeah. need some of my luck. Need some of my luck. 
So I'm going to probably like redecorate things in here. This is the Cyclops Fabricator. Closed Steps Macho MK Mark 1. Unknown ingredients. Uh, Cyclops Engine Efficiency Recycle Heat by product to increase engine efficiency. Ingredients unknown, unknown. Cyclops Docking Bay Repair Module. Repair vehicle docked with a... Oh! We just need copper wire. And a repair tool? <laughs> okay! So we can put this in the Cyclops right now. We'll have to make another repair tool. And for the decoy, we need three titanium, two lithium, and aerogel, which is doable at base. Whew! Um, the only thing I might have is basically, you know... The best thing about this is that I can access the storage unit for in here and go like this and go like that. That's what I'm sad about. I like that. I kind of wish that was sort of like the feature in the main little docking area. Like, you know, you put the vehicle pair things. <laughs> we got a fire extinguisher here, too. <laughs> hey, birdie. Oh, there's so much to explore again. Oh, but it's so nice to have this bag. I'm so excited. So, I'm getting rid of stuff in my hand. Right here. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Now, I'm probably going to keep these in here because, uh, you know, we're always going to be venturing out, so these would be perfect to stay in here. The medical stuff can just go in the lab. And the one part. Uh, so nice. Wow, that is so nice. Like, this opens up really nice. And then you have your letters. I mean, this is so nice to have this back. Okay, the one thing I need to put in here is actually an indoor... Indoor, um, grow bed. The reason for that is basically, um... No, I can't put you in here still, right? Yeah. The reason for that, and I feel like we could use this as like the bed range. Over here we'll keep like, you know, the greenery stuff. It's to keep our food on hand with us. I wonder... We can't put these in here. Or do you think like, you know, planters are a little bit? No. You can also put an aquarium in here. Haha. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I figured we could put this guy, um, in here for, like, rest areas. Like, you know, like, everybody wants to get tired, like, can get tired out and whatnot. Rooty, 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 rooty. All right. So we'll put that there. The single bed there, so you know you can have a nice little sleep best here, and that will be like you know gravy. It's like my own little lab in here, haha. <laughs> uh, we'll close this. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just basically putting stuff what I believe I might need in here more. Um, we're probably going to need a medical kit somewhere in here. Okay, we're going to open me back up. Okay, we have this here. Um, we'll have this section basically be like, you know, here's your med kit. Put you there. Uh, we're not going to put the wall lockers in here. We're also going to have uh, you in here. Can I put you underneath here? Yes, I can. That's awesome. So, it's like building like the base in here again, except for a few things. 
Like, I can't have the power cell charger in here, unfortunately. I have to go back to base for that. Which sucks now. <laughs> I can have a fabricator in here, so we're gonna make that too. Put that right there. I'm trying to make things so it's nice and easy. And and we can have a battery charger in here for our batteries. Though we don't really need the battery charger, but it's nice to, you know, have it in here. So these are a couple things that I'm putting in here to have. Our walkie thing is going off again. Um, interior, 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 interior. Okay, uh, we're going to put this guy in here as well. So we have our grow bed. We're also going to need some titanium. So we have our bed on this side so we can, you know, rest easy if we need to. And then we have all our other stuff over on this side so we're nice and neat. So we can close this. And this will be all our other stuff. And now we're going to put it. Engines are offline. We're going to start Engine them up. Powering up. Okay, guys, we also have cameras, which we use a lot. Rig for silent running. Now we can, like, hop up. <laughs> um, I think we should also have, like, a radio in here because, you know, the set club should have a radio. Uh, let's see. For that, we'll put this right there. Okay, so those are all the things we're gonna put in here. That way, like for missions and stuff, we can put that in here and check a lot easier than having to like go to base. I feel like base should just have the fabric or rechargeable stuff in there. I feel like the radio should stay in the Cyclops. Yeah, that's how I feel anyway. Yeah. So that's how we're going to do it. So right now we're going to head back to my base. And I'll see you guys in just a minute when I get there. Hey guys, Melly Spear here. Welcome back to another fun episode of Subnautica. We are in the dark. But there's a reason why I left my pony spirit right there. Uh, we're going to switch to camera so we can see that close up. As I accidentally stumbled across something and I actually wanted to show you guys it. Besides our, our big thing here. I accidentally stumbled across this. So hopefully this uh, will give us some clues. Hello, Mr. Pain in the butt. That loves to teleport me out of my pony pawn suit. You're lit, aren't you? But a lot of things is that, uh, uh, you know, I'm having trouble finding some titanium lately. I need to basically, uh, what's this a spot, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. I, I keep on thinking that I'm turning with this, but I'm not. There is a cave near my, uh, place. Okay, we're going to turn off engines because we don't want to waste our batteries. We're going to exit. We're going to turn it into your turn off exterior lights. Alright, we're going to completely exit. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen and turn on things. Now, we got to find our bearings. Which is not too hard. We're going straight down. This pony suit is. Oh, I forgot something. We are not going straight down yet. We gotta go back to our Cyclops. I have Welcome yet to name him. All systems online. Uh, no name for him. I big cute new Cyclops. Uh, I went too far up. <laughs> 
Well, I have a locker up there, but I need one of these. Because apparently, there is a ruin down here. As soon as I got my bearings. There we go. Ah, pony suit. No, disappear me. Okay. okay. I've lost my cave entrance. There it is. Whoop! Hello, Gorgs. We are down low. And we're headed down. There's the pony suit. Alright. So, this is where we're at. Also, I forgot to save, so I'm going to do that real quick. You can see that I'm a little low on oxygen because I was trying to, I was farming before I wanted to record with you guys. But unfortunately, I'm still lacking cutting. But I found that! So the hat is gonna let me come in. Oh, I can come in. Welcome aboard, Captain. So let's do that. Sorry for a little weird cut there, guys. I had to work the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, some more of this stuff here. Is there anything else in here? Besides all these uh, icons? So, really? gonna be annoying real fast. <laughs> we'll drink some water here. Uh, let's see here. Playing partially translated broadcast. Okay, alien arts. This structure is intended purposes unclear. The use of uh, function, alien vent, iron cube. These green mineral substance has no entry empirically. Likely grown artificially. Cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent iconic energy of five kilo TNT under the Conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner, likely used as batteries, but could require a substantial power source to be recharged. Valuable energy source. Oh, I didn't mean to exit. Tab. U. Ion. High capacity alien energy. Okay. So, that's all I found. I'm still looking for other things. Uh, functional distribution curled leaves on this aquatic plant is not immediately clear. It is possible to uncurl in low light conditions. <laughs> As they are designed to channel water currents through the main body of the plant, thus enhancing uh, nutrient take up. Okay. Anything else down here? I don't know. No, haven't scanned yet. 
guess not. Okay, we can make our way out now. As soon as I get my bearings. Zetzel! Now, I am looking for, like, mineral ore and whatnot. What now is my not what not? I, I I am recording kind of late here. So if you guys here see any like weird cuts and whatnot, it's more or less recording late. Early late It's you know it's just how I roll, man. Nothing here. Heavens when you don't have really high jump power. Ah, it's not an need right here. So, oh good. The sun looks like it's out, but not in here. Need some more green. something I hit. Subnautica. Uh, I've opened up this area. I've been here before and found all these lovely little things right here. And I seem to have stumbled across something else too, which I'm going to have to get out my scanner. I haven't done anything except for this right here. Creature egg. Okay. Alien research equipment. Getting. And of course, I'm gonna grab all this ion stuff again. I know I'm probably gonna be needing it for something. More data. Integrating new Bono data. Reduction. The aliens discovered the life form on the planet. I'm not reading the top, you guys can do that. The aliens discovered the life form on the planet have just one sex. They observe local orgasms engaging in asexual reproductions. All healthy individual tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually require genetic material from another of the species. In rare cases, only one parent was required with evolutionary mutation, including by the effects of the environment itself. Okay, that's interesting. Bone, alien bone case specimen. So I just found, I believe, another cuttlefish egg. And that's what's all that was in here. Great. <laughs> Is this a waste of my time? Oh no. But I did find nickel ore also. 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, Welcome to the suits, So I can breathe. I did find nickel ore. I don't think this is the exact place I'm supposed to be in. I wish I could take this back out, but unfortunately it won't let me, will it? Yeah, it won't let me. I do know that there is a couple things that are pain. There's a reason why I'm doing this right now, and I wanted to make sure I got that. I did. Okay, so I was down here before. So, that tells me I, I think I've explored all this area. Okay. 
I've actually managed to get my Cyclops pretty far down here as well. Just a little bit of maneuverability and you're down. But he missed me. Ha ha! Gotta go up, gotta go up, go, 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 go. Why am I stuck in the wall? Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? No! That was lame. Come on, jump. And we're good. Okay. Up, 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 up. I haven't found Kainite yet, but I have a feeling it's probably down a lot too. A lot further down. These plants right here are pretty cool. I wonder if I can get some seeds from them. That would be a no. I would love to have like gotten seeds and bring it up. Oh cool. I didn't get to my Cyclops this way without having to basically What are you I, I meant to exit. Oh, okay, we gotta see in here. Oh it's Nickel War. Haha! <laughs> We're good to get it. Ding. So down here in this thing you can get some nickel ore. Uh hey gorgeous. <laughs> You just leave me alone for a minute. You're not gonna leave me alone, are you? You just wanna hang out. You're so sweet. <laughs> but I am gonna pick up some ruby. I am getting low on ruby. So we'll grab you. And we'll grab you. Also, I did manage to make a reinforced um, dive suit. A lot of people have been completing this game and basically shooting things off into the sky, and I'm like, oh, hello. Okay, so I have all this new cuttlefish. I think I found a new cuttlefish, believe it or not. I don't know how, but I did. Veronimo, don't. I feel like this right here is poison. Don't get out on it. If I recommend, um,. Basically, using your arm. What's this? Oh. I think your quartz, right? Yeah, I recommend basically like jumping out. I. Sorry. You, you just seem so graceful. I like I'm sorry, I'll let you go. I'm just trying to land on top of things. Okay. That way I can get out. I'm just wondering if I can scan this. No, I cannot. Okay, good. I recommend doing uh like if you have like two arms on, go to your access upgrades. Uh take off like your grappler, the one you're not using, get back into your console. Jump down, and then things will be like you know, this is letting you know that this is crystalline sulfur, which you do need. Oh, wrong one, but use your hand, and this is quartz. So that will actually tell you. And there's been like um, some big, huge orbs, so that's why I recommend keeping the drill on, like right here. Is titanium, which I'm going to drill up because I need it. I always seem to need titanium lately. <laughs> also, since the uh, sea moth does not like uh, like let you do the chi of your uh, recharging bowl of your orb things. Yeah, you gotta, like, uh, unfortunately, leave those at base and make some more, um, batteries so you can last longer. Until you get further down and find the ion ones. I did have one great, uh, time capsule that actually gave me some of that. I appreciate that. I came a little closer because I don't know if I was too far away. Yeah. 
So right now I'm in just mining for the titanium because I need this. As much as I can, we have five. And since my cyclops is right around, I can mine for a while. I have it on silent running, so um, those pesky things doesn't bother me, bother me much. So I can peek out. It's like a good little hiding hole for this. But I don't know if like the computer AI basically says, oh, there you are. Come here, bitch. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm hoping not. I do like the trees down here, like the roots of these, which is kind of cool. Like they glow in your path. I believe you're more quartz, yep. And I'm just exploring right now down here. Only because I think now what are you? The, see here's the big huge nickel ore that you can find down here. And there's some more titanium that I desperately need. So here we go again. Basically you're gonna mine for titanium a lot. Until this is inventory full, but since I have my Cyclops down here, I can actually come back to here. And I also can, uh, well, we can do this right now because I have a lot of these. Go, go. Water. And then since my food source is so close to me, I can actually mine until my batteries run out in the Cyclops, which I'm hoping they don't. Okay, we're gonna go land. I have some ore battery power, but that is basically the emergency use battery. There we go. Welcome up, Captain. Thank you, honey. Systems online. Awesome sauce. And we'll take this as much as we can out. Uh, I think this space much faster. Also, uh, I like to check here. See how much power we're at. We're at 65. Or 64 so during that sort of process I like to turn off things that way the power goes down a lot slower we're still in silent running so I'll see I have some nickel ore I have some crystalline silver and gold right here but I'm also gonna add the titanium here so I can get some more stuff you can see I have this too Ugh, there's so much stuff, man. Um, food I have brought with me. I'm wondering if you can actually make your nutrigen, uh, like, nutrition bar thing, so I'm not really sure yet on that, so hopefully I can find out pretty soon. I think the watermelon filled me up more, but the potatoes are pretty sweet food wise so right now I'm back to like you know normal fully charged let me check their cells 192 100 zero, 0 okay so we're gonna switch this up to the hundred to the hundred do the shuffle do 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 I can also sleep down here, but yeah, going to happen. So we're gonna see inside the ring, so I can just like you know, the lights in them. I think I was not supposed to do that yet. I always seem to jump the gun a little bit. I'm a little bit off. Oh, cool. Landed on these. That's awesome. Okay. Gotta remember to empty things before I go taking off again. There we go. 
That's everything. That way. I can add these here. I can also add, since I think I brought my... I, I made this Pathfinder tool. I feel like I'm going to need that once. Just once. But that's about it. I am going to put this beacon down here to let me know of the stuff down here, but I don't really think I should need it right now. Uh, because I feel like I've explored all this area. I'm not really sure. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> um, let's see. Another orange tablet. So. This one and tickle. Ah, there we go. We need a nickel ore to basically the for this cell. So. Got a little slacker. Grab two of these. And Somewhere. Yeah, I still have a purple one. But I want to make another orange one just in case I need it. I know I have some ion crystals. I picked those up. Didn't I? I know I picked those up. I know I did. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing in here, man? None. None. Aha, they're there. Okay, just in case I need to. There we go. We'll make one of these just in case I need it. Jellyfish. I hitched a rod on him. Okay. Drink one of these. We're gonna take one of you out and put this one there. And the next one, we're gonna just put the. So I only have two on me. Uh, also, we're gonna put uh, you in here. We're gonna put the ion crystal back since we only need one. And I'm going to make another locker. Be it Ogonaz, because I feel like that's all I got to pull. As uh, soon as I can do that. There we go. That way we have more storage. I prefer making lockers for this and having this for my like equipment. That way I have things labeled. I don't have everything off me. Uh, all this up and down. This is all I ever do. There. We'll get organized later. <laughs> the ones that I am organized with right now are lithium and lead. That's about it. In, in this rig. Okay, so I'm just going to go back down, to, down the ladder. I will leave the beacon here. And we'll call this one the graveyard one. And we'll put this as this. We'll put it over here on this corner. And we'll name uh, the beacon because that's why I like beacons. Uh, deep down grave.
Because that's what it is. There's a deep down graveyard right there. So we'll leave that there. And we are not quite done. We gotta get that titanium and then we're heading back out. on the grappling hook. See, I still have to upgrade um, the pawn suit here. The key the pony spit. So I know where I'm at. I could back up, but it's much easier just leaving that there. What's up? What's up? Going down. Smash. I don't recommend getting out in this suit. If you do, uh, make sure you have med kits on you. I do miss my grappling because it makes me move a lot faster. Oh, what are you? You're nickel ore, aren't you? Yep. So, I can come back here to get some crystallized sulfur or whatnot down here. And there's some more nickel ore right here, right? Yep. Okay. So the rest, I think, is all nickel ore. I'm just looking for um, the remainders of my titanium that I was, I'm hunting for. That's all I'm hunting for is titanium. I can come back for nickel ore. Uh, basically, I'll just use the... What was that all about? <laughs> Basically, I'll use the pawn suit to do so. Crystalline sulfur. We'll grab it just in case we need it. I feel like I'm doing the shuffle. I'm drunk. Oh. Stimulate around down in the sea. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. So you're my finishing titanium. Okay. So we'll finish you up and then we'll get that titanium. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Just one little more. Ain't that great. You never know if it's going to do it or not, it's like just hanging out. Most of this will probably be cutting out. Oh. Holy shit! Holy shit! I didn't expect him! I did not expect him at all! Oh my gosh! Okay, there is more to explore down here. 
Hi, buddy! Don't make me drill you. I'll drill you. I'll fucking drill you! Leave me alone! Ah! Fuck you! Oh my gosh, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to grab my beacon and move it. Well, it's actually in a pretty good safety spot right there. I just didn't know there was more to this and that scared me. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to use my cyclops over this way. I just got to go to a safe spot. Ugh. This on. Hey, hey, Welcome hey. Aboard, hey! Put on the grappling hook. Thank you. Now we're a little bit safer. <laughs> so there's another grave down here. And you can go a little bit deeper. Okay, so I might have to retreat for right now. Got it. Okay. I am in a bad GG spot. Please don't come here. Please don't come here. Go away, man. I need to get out to repair. Poor spirit, buddy. Ooh, you almost gave me a permanent spirit pony. Yeah, I'm basically hiding right now. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> There's an excitement thing for you guys! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna skin the shit out of you. Come here. Mm. I'm scanning either or. Gotcha. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. 
Okay, I have scanned this guy. And I thought, okay, I was done exploring. Hell no, I'm not done exploring. I'm just, you know, swinging away here. Holy crap. Oh, dude, I, I know what they are. Dodge and weave, me. Dodge and weave. Go away, man. Okay. I didn't expect this. Mm -mm. I didn't expect that at all. Gel sack. Floating. Gel sack. <laughs> I think I'll take you down there. A floating gel sack. Okay, so I'm exploring a little bit more of the underground cave here. That I was not predicting. Silver ore is down here as well. Um, I'm afraid to keep on going down. Okay. Or seven hundred ninety. Okay, so little, this is just a pit. Awesome. So it's a good hiding hole. <laughs> I did not expect that ghost Leviathan. Oh my gosh, I did not expect him at all. That scared the shit out of me. Holy crap. I'm still re remembering about it. Oh my gosh. Though he looks pretty damn awesome. Hugging you now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, special, unlike any other encounter so far, it's a magnetic flow rather than water current to deliver nutrients. It's lava. This is up from the plant core, rough uh, vents. I wonder if I can cut it. <laughs> Guess that's a no. Well, that's copper ore. Copper ore's down here, too. Well, I guess I'll take you. Oh, hi. You know there's a ghost leviathan, right? Around here? You're sick. Probably am too. <laughs> Not table coral. Guess it don't matter where I find table coral eyes. The need for a computer ship. There we go. <laughs> now, what I'm trying to do right now is just sneak around. Though I am curious if this is anything I can peel off. Look, it glows. Are you kind of? Guess not. A 
just say I want to move a little bit faster and not scared her. Okay, well, I do have to go pick up my my Cyclops, but a little bit scared here. sure if I should go this way. Oh, titanium. So Since I don't want them rolling down the thing, I'm also gonna take a drink. Good thing I left those with me. Okay. We're 657 meters down below. I'm not sure where I'm headed, I just know I'm somewhere. Ah. Got it. I just got laughed at. Fuck you. Okay, so this looks somewhat familiar. I landed. Yeah, this is familiar. Okay, so I found a different way in, but I need to, um... Get back across to where I need to be. Which is back to the Cyclops. Which is back, uh, it's basically seeing the scary monster again. I'm more close to that. More close to home base than anything. Oh, there you are. Okay, so we want to head in that general direction, but we need to stay down low. I hate why well, this thing went so out of reach. Of stuff. I hate being out of reach. It's like, stretch! Let me grab you! Oh, there's more titanium over here, too. Bet I can't pick it up. Without having to go through a uh, Monsieur. Uh, crazy, uh, ghosty thing that almost, almost killed me. Probably would if I didn't lash on. Ha <laughs> ha. I just didn't expect him, really. He was like, surprise, bitch! <laughs> Holy crap! Well, I'm out of here, definitely. Uh oh. Here he comes! Ah! Definitely glad I put that one down here. When I said it was a deep gravestone, I definitely meant deep gravestone. And my base is pretty much close to it. Wow.
Okay, we'll get our bearings back. Wow. Woo! Okay. Oh, man. So, I'm not sure who else is down this way. So, I feel like I'm. There's something else down below that I missed. I'm not really sure. I don't have my. They're down there yet? Systems online. Yeah, but how? How? Yeah, I'm closing that makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, we're pretty good. For silent running. Engine powering up. All right, we don't have missiles, so we're turning our around. So when I get back to base, I'm also gonna use not this camera, this camera. Uh, when I get back to base, we'll uh, continue on base while I'm headed there. Hopefully I'm heading in the right direction and up and out. I will make sure I save and I will see you guys real soon at the base. Okay, well I found something here. Uh, basically by a... Oh shit! Oh, I nailed it! Hi, 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 big alien. We're gonna hang out here for a minute. Please don't come over here. Holy shit, there's one, two, three, four, four! Oh, he doesn't like them! Hi, how you doing? Go away, I'm hiding. <laughs> oh, hello! Okay, we just need to be right by here. And we'll deal with him. Fuck you. Put him in a one of a stasis like field and get in here. Okay. Hey, coffee machine's in here too. Um, is there anything I can scan? There's a data box. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, it's a lot of my health, or, or that's what I want. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous right now that guy's on me. Fuck off my pawn suit! Gotta make sure this is okay! I haven't visited everywhere from there, so we want to one. Okay, let's do another way in. Yeah, on the other side. Hello. It's also that's Integrating new PDA data. 
Oh, I saw something skin. Hang on, hang on. I saw something skin. Can't see though. Oh, it's the alien containment. I've been looking everywhere for that. Well, that's exciting. Oh, come on. Why do I just get hung up on walls? Oh, okay. Well, apparently I've already found something here. <laughs> something there. Uh, I can't scan you. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Oh! I need you. And we're gonna scan you, though, first. There we go. We've got an orange tablet. Oh, I gotta watch my health. Or, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's integrating new PDA okay, we gotta get out of here. Thirty seconds. Yep, knew it. Ugh. Whew! Knew that was getting close. We got some new stuff, and hopefully, I can start building uh, things down to me. I think I got everything in there, but we'll do a nice little one little clean sweep in here just to make sure. That jackass of a douchebag of a freaking douchebag. There is another observatory over here. If I can stop. Yeah, there's something right here. Got it. And to play these in a safer area. And we'll make sure that we didn't forget anything in here. Besides all this stuff. Jerk! He's a jerk. Oh, I'm stuck on things. Okay. I think we're done in this little compartment area. Let's get the hell out of here before he has himself an orgasm. I can't believe that jackass did that to me. Jerk! through these things okay I need to find my bearings here oh shit that's more or less shut the fuck up and get away from me welcome to board captain Okay, where do I need to go? Okay, there's uh, my sea moth, but um, that's not where I need to go. There's some volcanoes down here. I'm a little lost. Oh, there you are. Okay, so we're headed in that direction. Yes! Hey! Now we're swinging. Now we're running into things. Ah. Okay. Ah. Are we seriously stuck here? Oh no. Remember, we've got a swing, baby. Swing, baby, baby, baby. That guy does not like me whatsoever. 
Fuck you, I'm out. I also need to find some ruby, and that's what I actually came down here for was some ruby! Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Oh great, you again. Don't see me. Go away. You're gonna see me, aren't you? Oh, well, these guys are a little douche too. Well, didn't catch anything. Um I have no clue how I got down here, but Eventually, I'm gonna pull my ah and myself out of here, you bastard! I love how my phone tape flips in the air, though. They do not. Ah, you bastard! Where am I? <sighs> oh, that's hot. Get out of here. Run! Okay. I am trying to get out. Vital signs stabilizing. <sighs> okay. Cyclops, where are you? Okay, that's my goal, is to get to my Cyclops. I have to get to certain islands. The elevator going up. We'll hang out here. Oh, we're still around uh, the observatory again. Well, we know we need to go in this direction, but we need to hang out so we can recover. It is very creepy right now down here. It's like how you shut them up. Get away from me. You fucker. All I know is that I see those floating arms up, that's where we're headed. We're gonna follow the orbs <laughs> that lead up. I think I found the right path. Okay, we'll follow this path. I want to go a little bit faster here. Uh, 
Okay, I think we're more in the clear now. Yeah, we're heading up. Woo! That's an adventure in itself. Good lord. Well, we know we're headed in the right direction. <sighs> Cover. And up we go. Seriously? There you go. Now we're on solid ground. I don't even aim down and I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, get me up. Now we're at 300 feet, which is good. There we go. Now we're making some more progress. Round river. Still hate that. Might as well hang on. I'm gonna probably have to go left to right. This is the one thing I really hate about this uh, game, and that is because of the grappling hook when you swing it out. It hooks onto this, and you're aiming for something else that is not to the left to you or to the right of you. Or it shorts distance until you actually get there and you're like, grab it, grab it. That's the only thing that makes me mad about this game. The rest I enjoy. Oh, Ruby. I saw Ruby. I'm going there. I need rubies. Right, so Fucker. I'm injuring yourself, but that ruby was worth it. Probably not, but I need rubies, so since they are in the vicinity and I have health, we are good. Where my base is, I can find a lot of ruby, a lot of everything. The only thing I'm lacking of is quartz, is titanium. Oh my gosh. I'm not lacking quartz, that's for sure. I am lacking, what is this right here? Come on. Come on. I want to see what this is before I go in. There was something I saw here. Oh. Ports. Ports. <laughs> Welcome of course. Captain. Okay. I thought it was something else. It wasn't. So we're going back down. We can eat. And, and then we can head back to base. Welcome up. Captain. Thank All you. Online. I'm gonna close that. Thank you. And you have the other ruby that I need. Thank you. Uh, fabricator, I need from you. I think. No. Oh.
wasn't that one. Ah, I haven't found the nickel ore yet, so, but it's in here to create. Titanium ingots again. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on making that. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that, but obviously it happened. I could make an arrow gel, but right now I'm looking for something that might be here. That's Mach 2. stealing it, but, oh wait. Nickel ore. Still haven't found nickel ore. Is this in one? Ah, there it is. That's what I was trying to make. Now we can go down 900 meters instead of like, you know, 500. So it'll be a lot more safer now. Also, I'm gonna take a drink. And I have another creature egg, so we are going to head home right now. To base. Engine powering up. And hopefully my little adventure is not being a pain anymore. Alright. Alright, um let's get our bearings. Okay, we have orb creeps. Okay, so we wanna go to back to the left. The reason why I put that orb tree there is because I know I have another one somewhere. Like mushroom forest. This one I recently found too, big deep blood forest. And this one I called the blood forest too, because it also has it, but also a cave network. So there's actually two blood forests, one that's more that way and one that is this way. I don't know the connection uh, yet, but hopefully I can make a lot of things now and we can start getting deeper down and below. But the only thing I'm missing right now is nickel ore. Not sure where to get it. I have to go up. You gotta go up, gotta go up. Gotta keep going up. Uh, but now we can start uh, crack opening our creature eggs that I have in the little, little cupboards. I know where I'm going to put the um, alien containment. As soon as we get there. And then we'll also recharge our Cyclops. Which I haven't have a name for my lovely big guy here. headed down.
engine powering down. All right, let's go check on our batteries, and then we'll take those ones that are low out and put the ones that are really charged up in. So we got a hundred, hundred, hundred. Okay. And then we'll take out you for the other hundred as soon as I'm able. It's always a fight. Always a fight. There we go. Some uh, potatoes. Jets and whatnot. Welcome aboard, Captain. I thank you. There's a reason for this right here, because this is where I'm putting the only team. It's unit. I also want to make this, but it's gonna be a little bit before that. Uh, where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay, so this is where I'm putting it. Okay, so I only had two, two, two. Oh, glass. Got you. Got you. Well, anyway, we gotta go this way. Anyway. But we're gonna make some glass. And if you need salt, we're gonna put that away. Also drink some water. So we're good there. We're gonna put this in our salt deposit. We're I am saving some salt, but I'm also throwing away some salt because I have an abundance. So more or less when my locker is full with salt, I'm done. <laughs> the rest is going to the trash <laughs> until more of it is created. <laughs> Okay, so we want a quartz, quartz, quartz. Do, 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 do. So as much as I can get, and then we'll go to fabric here. Quartz. I'm not gonna make a, that quite yet until I need something. Okay, so I do know that I need to refill quartz. I went up when I didn't mean to. Okay, and now we go up. And we go just up. And we go boop boop. And then we run. Yeah, I love looking at your cyclops. <laughs> now I'm not fully done with this Aquarium. because provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select we need a hatch. which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Which requires one more quartz, which we do have. I just have to go run and get it. <laughs> it's a little running in this game, I swear. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Ah! But it's fun. Regardless, it's fun. It's a fun game. It's just a little tedious here and there. Oh, what am I doing? Quartz. There you are. So I definitely have to go on a quartz run. 
then I do know where some forts is around here, so that's good. But what's missing from around here is actually a have one egg on me already. Uh, this guy. There we go. That is actually the first one I have around me. And I will go get the other eggs because that's what we're gonna do to finish up this episode. Woo! Right down. I didn't have enough room with all the quartz in me anywhere. Down. Alright. Eggs. Okay, that's as many eggs I can fit into me right now. Is that so kinky? <laughs> So I am going to basically build another thing on top of this one to make the uh, thing bigger. Like, look at them, they're like all pulsating. It's so creepy and yet so cool. So, to finish up this one before I do anything, um, I uh, right now it's just running to go grab all the eggs. All the eggs since we have our aquarium. I know, I have like duplicates of things and whatnot. <laughs> uh, okay. And oh, can't fit the big eggs. Big eggs are are like huge. But all the little ones I can fit in here, so that's good. They're just like pulsating and whatnot. It's like going to hatch. Okay. Look at this. Oh, I have two of you. I have one there and one there. I wonder what I'm gonna get all the bodies. It's like Easter hunt and whatnot. Mm, so sexy. Of course, all of them are gonna stay in the aquarium because I'm gonna make a bait. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Going down. Whoop! Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. I know, I'm letting you guys see all these. Ah, oh, I can only get two. Okay, that does it. And then we go back for the eggs. Oh, I still have eggs in here. Ah, fuck me. Um, put you in there. I don't want to like waste my water but do 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 for right now because I want to grab all my eggs ah damn it <laughs> you know what hold on to this one there now we got them all I'm grabbing the salts yes I am huh? 
just heard it make it. I'm grabbing it. Tap it up. There y'all are. In your natural little spots. I'm so proud to have you here. You're so proud. Okay, one last thing. We need to make another. We need to grab six titanium. While you guys are doing your thing. And uh, while I'm doing this, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode where you can see them all. Ouch. See you soon. Yeah, you can see what I'm looking at, right? Hi, guys. How's it being here? And look what I'm looking at. I don't think you can come down between these two things. Because I've like been waiting and waiting. Okay. He's turned into a ghost. I've been waiting for him to come down. But, nope. So, real close to me, it's about, I feel like 485 miles away. And this is basically towards the death zone that you don't want to go to. But there is some titanium. That's the reason why I came out here in the first place. I've been looking up because I'm like, okay, leave me alone. I'm busy. I'm trying to get some titanium. Not lead or quartz, but yeah. So I've been trying to head this way. But if this is the edge, are you the edge? No, you're not the edge. So I've been, I've been really weary of him right now. And scrap over here. Ah, oh, my inventory's full because of scrap. Okay. I can add some stuff in here, right? Yeah. I also picked up this. I don't know which creature it is, but there it is. I'll pick up the scrap here. That will also give me titanium. It's like, don't mind me, Leviathan. I'm just cleaning up the mess over here. Like, where are you? And what did you do to me? Okay. There is a titanium I was after. I'm also looking up to make sure. Yeah, there's titanium there, titanium here. This is what I've been after. That's the only reason why I'm out this way. Storage has no more room, so I have to leave. I have to return. But I'm not risking my Cyclops out here. That's why I only went out in my Spear Pond suit. Because this area is dangerous. But I got some titanium, which is what I came out here for. I do have to come back. a good launch. And that is proportion. <laughs> That's really getting me from point A to point B real quick. But yeah, you can see that I'm a little bit of a neighbor with a Leviathan that is basically 400 some miles that way. <laughs> a little scary, man. A little scary. So we're going to put the pond suit right here because... Obviously when I'm in the docking bay, it doesn't let me access this. 
nor does it let me access that. It just puts me in the pollen suit, and I don't like that. So we're gonna launch our base. We're gonna go ahead and scrap that, and uh, yeah. So I'm making a change to my base. You can see the long thing going down, right? Yeah, that's my change. I'm basically moving these down lower. And I made sure to remove these because if you don't, you lose them. Now, how much scrap do I have? I have four pieces of scrap on me right now. Yeah, I think this is an okay spot right here. So not what I wanted. Uh huh. You're what I wanted. And I only need three to build this, so that's good. Boom. Built. Now we go back up to these guys. This will recharge. Also, anything else that is low. When I'm swimming up, it recharges, so that's what we want. I'm uh, probably going to be. all over the place so I'm probably gonna get some more for this base. <laughs> Free droids without having to build anything. Look at that. Put this right where I had it before. Just gotta rotate. There we go. Thirty seconds. Okay. Oh shit! Oh, I just made that. Woo! I almost died right there. Now, uh, have you seen in, maybe in the last episode, maybe in this episode? I still have this freaking glitch. Like it's saying that I'm climbing, but I'm not. Obviously, I'm not climbing it up. It takes more than a couple of tries just to basically get up. <sighs> I get annoyed with that. We're also going to drink some water. And we're gonna leave. Except for that in there. I trust the salt. I've actually made one chair so you can look out. You know, this is like their lunch room right there. You guys ever come in? It's like, this is my lunch room. Welcome. Park your sea moth. Enjoy. <laughs> Still running. Get rid of these. Flesh down. Now the observatory we're gonna get rid of as well. We're gonna move that down too. Cause I've already got this as a good absorb, so this being down lower will actually be pretty nice. Now, I'm not sure if I want to put like a, another hatch here or something else. I'm not really sure. But we'll get to it when we get to it. Um, we'll take 
this and this. I'm leaving that titanium there. Oh, I thought I grabbed the ruby. I guess not. Oh well. So do this. I just removed the salt. Okay. And now we just need the ladder. <coughs> Excuse me. Right there we go. <coughs> And we're back to business. See how far down it goes. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying here. <laughs> we'll give them a new friend. And we'll see what we get. Hello, my peepees. I got three cuttlefish in here, an electrical, and these guys. These guys are the scary guys that are not going anywhere. But yeah, they're in here. Where'd my go? Did he hatch already? No, he's right here. I was like, man, I hatched that egg already. Fish. Uh, yeah, here's my egg. And the containment being born. And now that we got that, we can come down. We'll go to here. You can see how big this really is. <laughs> how deep I am and whatnot. How deep I went. And how tall we went. Now that that's settled in, we are going to go boop, boop, boop. boop. And you can see it now expanded. Woo! But really, it's the cave I'm looking at. Right down in here is where I want. That's why I came down lower. Wait till connection. There's the ruby. I'm seeing how far I can go. Oh, I can go. Ooh. Ooh. Right here. So putting that, that down basically brought my. Um... So if I exit, it's more or less you can see it now right here on the screen, nice and clear. go. Now that's deep down. I kind of wish I could squat a bit. <laughs> Maybe if we go on the outside. Okay, so that's showing me some tunnels system over here. Smaller ones. About this way. It's so hard. Holy moly. 
Okay, because I went down, this is up. Right? Yeah, that's up. And I'm down, so I basically have to come down to here. So I can see things. Uh, again, I might uh, delete this and go down further. But I think I'll just add another uh, thing here. Really? Nighttime ish here, right here. Um. Nope. Unless this is for outside. Can't put this over here either. So let's see. Ah, there we go. Put a bench. Warning endorphin levels low. Consider taking a seat and meditating. It may help to remember that problems exist only where you choose to see them. <laughs> and then I can look up. Warning. So that's pretty good to have like uh, this whole entire ladder thing to come down like this. Takes a lot of titanium though. But if you do get construct, make sure you remove uh, your scan room here. Like this. And. Get over here. I don't want to be touching them, but I want to be low enough. Exit. 
<clears throat> I know, working on the base, working on the base. It's like an elevator I'm making. I think that's good enough. To this way. Come on. Woo! That's what you need. It's a nice launch. Woohoo! We're so enthusiastic. That woohoo was so enthusiastic. That's silver ore. Yeah, over here is also like some uh, traits for uh, the silver ore. Now, the reason why I'm looking up is I want to make sure I'm not disturbing this year Leviathan. That's what Alpha says. Very guy. Scanner. Thermal plant. Here's some more scrap to grab. Oh, I guess some titanium. 
because there's no one of those uh, saber teeth that we need, so that's good. Don't remember if I checked in here. Oh, my inventory's cool. Nice spot for uh, titanium. Also, I have the jump. I have mops. One, two. Okay, good. Ah, itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose. I can hold about. I can hold one of those. So we'll grab one of these. My inventory will be full now. Pawn suit is not. Not yet. Oh, that's silver ore. I don't want silver ore. I'm kind of being wary of Leviathan, too. So I'm gonna get out. Store some stuff in here. Back in to get some air, and then I think we'll escape and hit save. <laughs> Whew. Hey guys, I'm Millie Spear here, and we are down almost 800 meters down. Alright, let's put on sonar so I can see what's going on. There's a giant here. We'll turn off sonar now because sonar takes up a lot. Um, I'm gonna hover right here for right now. We're gonna power down. Engine powering down. I'm gonna exit real quick. I don't know if I got this already, but okay, I did. But since I'm here, oh man, it's really hot down here, huh? Since I'm here, might as well collect some stuff. I need it. I'm not really hurt, being hurt that much. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. All Thanks. systems online. I used one of my torpedoes already because uh, the doggone guy was like just right there at the entrance. It was so bad. <sighs> Watermelons are girls. Plant the watermelons. So you can grow a big age drug. There you go. Also, I'm gonna go down. I call these the anything locker. I think I put them into them, I put them into them. We're also going to run in silent mode. Rig for silent running. Okay, so... There's this 
thing over here. Besides this thing. Seamoth still good. It's very cool looking. And I mean that so well. This is the thing I'm going to basically say hello. You guys are all around this day. Okay, again. Engine powering down. That is so creepy. That is so creepy and I gotta say cool. Closer to it. I think these guys are friendly. Giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in a deep cove, and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays gazing on its pink outer leaves. A hardy fast grown bar covered the outside of the trees. Ghost Leviathan eggs. Ghost Leviathan eggs. Ghost Leviathan eggs. Ghost Leviathan eggs. The tree branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs <coughs> belonging to. The species designated Ghost Leviathan. This tree appears to be ancient. So, you're a, a, a huge. This is a huge Leviathan egg. That's what I'm assuming. Go, Leviathan. 30 seconds. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Don't you just hate when you have to leave? <laughs> this is a cool thing. I wonder if I have enough to make a beacon. Need copper ore. Do I have? Did I bring any copper? I did. I did bring copper ore? Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I think I still have titanium down below. It's only because I have one more, and that's for the lava lake. Yes, I do. I'm happy about that. There's a reason why I'm putting this here. I feel like this would be a safe spot right here on this near this tree. I know I'm saying Ghost Leviathan, and it's like, uh, are you sure about that? So all the while, I think I placed my base right where. I needed to be. I just was being stupid. <laughs> uh, ghost. Ghost. Leviathan. Well, no. No. Ghost tree. Might as well call it that. Because basically it's harboring the ghost of, of Leviathan's eggs. Imagine having a base down here and having an, all that swarm around it, all, all these rays. It's probably doable. 
Maybe. Well, yeah, whether you... Are you not... Oh my god, I'm only at 51%. This fucking sucks. Engine powering up. 51. It's like I can't even be on silent running without it basically depleting everything. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. Probably with the heat source. Probably is doable around this thing. Alright. Well, I've marked the ghost tree. So I know somewhere where I'm going. Let's see. Okay, we're going to continue down this path. We're at 48% power. Because it's big enough. Okay, we're making a left. I'm a little nervous, by the way. Okay, let's do a ping. Okay, there's a drop here. Probably do a base right here, you know. I'm trying to make this turn. Gosh, the thing is freaking creeping me out, man. Oh, come on. Camera. Oh my god, on. Just drop some more feet. I have a feeling we did. We drop. We're at nine thousand forty-eight feet. Dropped nine thousand. Power's at forty-seven percent. I just got weep vibes going on here. I do have extra batteries. You look like either you're dead mushrooms or you're a different sort. Okay, we're gonna turn you off right now. Save some power here. I'm gonna go eat some fruit. When we get done with the game, if it's getting close to that, I want to go in creative mode and I kind of want to actually see if I can actually build a base down here and see if that would be plausible. because I got a lot of it. Uh, so we're going to take some potatoes with us just in case I need them. I'm only down this way because I wanted to know if these are... Yep, they're a pick of deep... T there are the mushrooms that I thought they were. You can! You can harness the gel sack seeds! Well, that's good to know. Put that in there. And we're gonna save. <laughs> Just to be sure! I want to save some power here before I do uh, anything terrible. 
and we're going to save right here too. Oh, we had. Oh! oh! Hello. What just. Was something attached to me? Hello? Yep, there is. Oh my gosh. What are you? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Hell off my pawn suit. Taking some titanium. Okay, so these guys right here are energy sucking, blood sucking, pain in the ass sucking suckers. Okay, I'm finished with that. There's some more titanium over here. If I hear any chirping on me, I've more or less been attacked by these suckers. So I've only got like a uh, hundred and something to go. There's no more room for this. Oh, well, that's just wonderful. Are they now? I don't want to touch the ones in there. Okay. Okay. I know, I'm not talking much. I, I'm like so overly concentrating here. Because I'm excited. I found where I need to be. 
<laughs> it's right by us, the ghost tree. But I'm also a little bit nervous. Oh ho! Oh ho! You are my worst enemy! I didn't even see that boy jump grab onto him. So, kind of glad this is uh, available because this tells me, hey, you're losing power and this is the reason why. Engine power. Yeah, I gotta get away from these guys. These are bloodthirsty pain in the butts that we need to get away from. So we're going to make a left. Hopefully this is not a decision I regret. Yeah. Ouch. I regret this decision. I regret it. This is the wrong way. We gotta back up. Fuck. Fuck. We gotta go this way and back up. Is maneuvering down here is so bad. I mean, it's so freaking bad. When I get to, uh, down to seventy. Just gotta get in the clear of those guys. Okay, we're gonna stop right now. Clear? Okay. I 
getting out yet. We're at 69. Don't go all lush, don't lush. I'm trying to find a spot where I can just settle down. 68. What was that? Oh, please don't be on Leviathan. Or, or, or are you the bigger monsters? Okay. Engine powering down. Fuck them. Where are you? Where are you? Get off my <laughs> Cyclops. These things, I swear. I know. Whew. Let's turn off the lights. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's like I'm trying to scroll to the one and it's like nope, 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 nope. <gasps> okay. I'm leaving that on. want to attach, they go right ahead and attach. I left you, dear old power, you bastards. So when I get back in there, I'll have to, um, re, uh, do things. So I'm on my own for right now, and I'm saving my battery power, so they're sucking it dry right now. Whatever I have left. So I have a 69% and 27%. I left it with out the remainder of the energy, so that would be can be taking care of things. I 
and I'm traveling in my my pawn suit. There's titanium right here. Get that sucker! Let me scan you. Ouch. I wanted to scan you, man. Do you mean to be mean? Holy shit. Anyway. What are you? But I think I should be able to find Kite Knights somewhere around here. HOLY SHIT! I'm so glad I left him over there. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That just came out of me. Quartz. You are huge. Huge. Oh, I forgot some things. Oh, I gotta go back. Cyclops! Cyclops! Where are you? Okay, I found you. He does need a launch. Holy cow. my sea both over or my cyclops over here oh my god well I am low on gold okay okay Second figure first. It's like leave my baby alone. Look at this bag ass. Excuse me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Systems are still systems online. online. Uh, do I have random shit? Of course. Do, do. There's some random. Okay, we're gonna take a drink right here.
Okay. Did I leave it in this one? No. Down below. It's gotta be in this one, right? This one? Nope. This one. Okay, there it is. We'll bring these in just in case I need it. Oh my god, these things are a nuisance! Get off of them! Big Mama Jama over here. Oh, that's titanium or something. I am so nervous. This is some more. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Leviathan skeleton remains. Yeah, I take back, dude. It's kinda I found kinda I so need this.
that too. Oh my gosh, seriously? Time to go. It's like I can't mine in peace. Son of a bitch, leave me alone! I'm just running right now. I feel like I'm in a safe spot. There, another freaking one appears. I have to check something. I didn't get Kainite. How are you freaking kidding me? Okay, apparently the potatoes rotted, and now I'm like hungry. Real for Kai Knights. Why do you have to bug me? You know what? I'm sick of your shit. Sick and tired of the shit. Before something happens to me, <laughs> we're saving. I'm so glad I saved Fox City right there. And I don't have the kind of night. <sighs> hey guys, Melly Spear here. How y'all doing? Depending on oh, if I delete that part or not. But anyway, I want to warn you guys if you guys have not known or do you know. This right here is what's known as the death zone. You can find two leviathan here, and if you go where my base is, and you start heading towards the death zone, you will also find a leviathan there as well. So you'll have like two uh, spirit leviathans and one real leviathan attacking your beautiful cyclops. So if you want to die, this is one way to do it. <laughs> I've already tried doing it multiple times and because I thought the lava zone, the lava river was down this way. Fortunately, in my stupidity, it is not down that way. It is back 
where I've set up my base. Back where I was thinking it was not there. Back where the one spirit leviathan is. So basically we're going to make our way back home, restock. Because only uh, what I call the big blood forest right here. I know it probably has like another name. Yeah, I bet you could basically find it no problem easily. But yeah, you don't really see uh, what they're called in game when you're not pressing like certain hotkeys. So I was like very curious like why can't I find this big you sing? It's because I didn't really explore down there thoroughly. I didn't explore down there. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, um, hi, Leviathan. I expect to see you here. Holy shit. I was expecting that. Okay. Correction. You will find a Leviathan here. Uh, we're going to go up, 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 up. Okay. Well, I bet. No. Yeah. Yeah. We're going up. We're going so fucking up right now. Holy shit. That was another Leviathan. And I'm only at 59% power, so he will wreck my shit. Uh, so, yeah. Going to the edge where the death zone is is basically, um, you'll see leviathans. Definitely we'll see leviathans. So, yeah, we're going to start making our way this way. I, and, you know, I always forget to go Having flag, this one. Emergency speed. Morning. Vessel calculated. Excessive noise. Excessive noise. Rig for silent running. Um, bum, bum, bum. we're going fast. Morning. Engine, Engine overheating. overheating. Ahead standard. So we're going ahead standard. Now I have shields, I don't have torpedoes, nor do I have sonar. I believe I need to get sonar, but only to get sonar, I have to get kyanite. And I haven't found kyanite yet. So we're headed back to my base, and then we are going uh, basically where the orb trees are, and the deep down grave, more or less, is where we're going to head back to. We're going to have to deal with things again, but we'll deal with them as we get to them. So you can actually go pretty fast for a couple of feet before you have to, like, uh, go back to mid. So, the preparation... Son of a bee me. I went too low. Oh, I have to go up and over first. This one I call the mushroom forest. Well, no I don't. Well, I sort of do. I think... So. No. Yes. No. I don't remember. I I call something the mushroom forest. Or, you know, that's the big tree. You'll find um, a lot of gel sacks around there. Also, if you go deep down, you'll also find gel sacks there. So, did I call this? Yes, I did call this the mushroom forest. I did. I did. I did call it the mushroom forest. And then I call the ones like mushroom gray cave and orb trees. Because I couldn't, I don't know their names. I don't know their names. I didn't cheat like that and basically look it up and whatnot. And so, I made my own little names. So, <laughs> that's what I see from a perspective view of not using, like, you know, a tab and whatnot. So, we're headed back to my Esper Seamoth. Uh, that's what I named, um named my sea moth and uh yeah also going to uh look for magnite because i need it i'm going to need some magnite so i'm going to be farming for a brief while and i hope you guys enjoyed this lovely little speech of do not jump off the fucking edge of the world unless you want to try over and over and over again and after that, after we gotten down there, uh, back down there, I should say. So I'm basically trying to stock up on, um, batteries since we can't get back down there more or less with, uh, 
with one of them being in here, which she kind of blows, but. Uh, here is my lovely base. Uh, probably from one of the last episodes, you guys didn't see all the lovely new eggs I got. I kind of like uh, having the creep vine around in my dark little spot because it actually illuminates it and lets me know that, hey, you're, you're close now. But there are also some spots where I can't do anything. So here we go. Oh, I, I jumped off too soon. I always do that too. We got powered out. Powering down. We're at 39%, so we made it all the way back. Um, we get out to internal lights. Oh, we're still in silent running. So we can do that now. There we go. We don't have to be in silent running anymore. Also, I've added some watermelon uh, things in here, which actually help out with um, not wasting my water and food. So if I run out of water, I have these watermelon. Melons, melons, melons in here. Also, this stuff looks good. So yum, 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 yum. So the one I'm looking for is this, Cyclops Solar Upgrade. I don't have that yet. I still have to find the blue chip or something like that. 100, 100, 100, uh, not 100. Okay, so that's coming out because that's going to get recharged. Basically what I'm trying to do is make about six of these so I have backups, upon backups. So probably about, uh, since there's three and three, there's six, maybe about a nine, no, six plus, six plus three. Also I put uh, another locker in here for titanium, I collected some titanium. So the end goal is basically to get right back to my one beacon where it says deep down grave. And while I'm swimming, I like to pull out like just from there to there, charging up whatever one I'm holding. Also, you can plant uh, mushrooms here, which is good. So I've been planting these ones since I'm not really close to these. So anything that you're really not close to, I recommend like uh, making an exterior garden for because that way you have these resources on hand and you can craft easily from them. You don't have to keep on going back and forth, back and forth. So. Here's Dad. Welcome aboard, Captain. And grab some copper ore. I'm gonna make some batteries. Yes, I do have batteries. The batteries are basically for emergency use now. Uh, in case I really have to exchange something out, I can do so. I don't have to exchange them out often. I haven't found the super upgraded ones yet, so there's that too. So basically, I'm a crafting guru right now. And plus we have these mushroom seed that I put in here. That's making me another health kit. Uh, I need to make whatever. Nope, I'm done with that, I guess. Right? Yeah, we got three batteries. And we need some. So, what we need for batteries to make batteries is one of these, or make our one. We need some seeds. Which are all over the place, but I like planting these because it makes it glow. I don't really need some maxeria light, so more or less. 
we can like make a nice little garden so it lights it up down here which is awesome so they're like their own little like a uh, flare if you ask me <laughs> so we need uh, we got the creep vine so after that we go to two batteries plus one silicon rubber equals one big huge gigantic battery <laughs> And I have one battery left for other things, so yay! So we're gonna put the, oop, not that one, the battery in here. Okay, you can see I have batteries charging. The ones that are low are going in, so I can get charged. Hundred, hundred, hundred. Oh, good there. And then we take these ones out. Also, going to check on our very powerful power source here. Okay, so I'm down to one, so I'm going to have to start crafting those now. Oops. So we are, might have to go on a. West here. I have to see what all I need for them. Lead, titanium, and glass. So not that much. Do 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 do. Of course, I can find out anywhere. Do, do. Need that, and we need some lead. Because I have all these health packs. <laughs> I'm getting, I've gotten full up on them. That's what's going on. There's one, there's two. That'll keep us powered up. I don't make lots of these because if they last super long. And if I can't make any more, there's also a bioreactor right here that I can power up. Huh? Either or. bioreactor doesn't last as long as the nuclear reactor does, so the radioactive huh? reactor does. And then we take this, so it can still cipher up water. Take this. I think we got a good amount of water now. I think you just need like two. If there's like multiple people and they're like starving and whatnot, like if they ever put this in multiple player mode, you know, that would be a nice challenge. Okay, I don't think I got any more Magnite anywhere, but I really need Magnite. So that's kind of a bummer. So from where my base is, over here, there's still like, you know, a volcanic sort of deal. I could probably do like the thermal uh, thing over this way. But past that is like another little volcano sort of deal. Land, the real Leviathan. But past that is the no man's land. You don't want to go there. You do, however, want to go past this little ridge and down this part. So this is where we want to go is right here. That's why I love my huge scanner. So I am looking for Magnite. So we're going to take our camera controller on one. I actually have another one on a different thing, but this is as far as way as I went because I wanted to be curious about this. 
because I wanted to know how far I could go, but I couldn't. And you can see that yeah, I can go about 414 miles away from my main base, so I can go pretty far before things start getting pretty fuzzy. And you see, the closer I get back to base, the clearer it starts to get. So right now it's a little fuzzy. I'm trying to see, like, right here, 300 distance is all I can do. So right here is some, like, quartz I can come out and get. So that's why I like, um, the little thing right there, because I can see a lot. with it. So this is not a bad place to basically set up a base as long as you're not out uh, too out in the distance. Like you don't want to be by this guy. What's up dude? Like I came around here to see basically bug the crap out of him. Ha <laughs> ha! I can, you can also find Ruby here. Also there is a wreckage. And I'm going to use my little drone since I am so close. To see if I forgot anything in here. That's the one thing I like about having a drone that could actually go this far. It's more or less I can go in, see it clearly. Oop, I hit I hit the top. Ugh. My drone's a little dazed. Oh. The power of my drone is at 76%. I think I just went, yeah, I went backwards. So I can drone it out, see where uh, things are, if I missed anything. Doing, 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 doing. I don't think I did. Nope, there's nothing I forgot in this one, because there's not a place to go. This is like a fake corridor sort of deal. Boing. And my drone is basically pretty good. Ow. Uh, there's like some plant shelves in this one. On the side of the wall. A bench. Oh, I did miss something right here. This is where I missed. So I can actually come back here and we'll do this. So this is what's really handy about having a drone that's close to a wreckage. You can have the drone scope it out for you. Uh, and yes, you're going to bounce off the walls. Boing. And we made it down. Yep, I missed all this stuff right here. Oh, there's something I need right there. There it is. Okay. So we are basically going to be coming back to this wreckage. We're coming right down to camera one. We're going to grab that. I'm also going to scope out in here while I'm here. See if there's anything I can look around for, squeeze around for. Nope. Okay. So we're going to get this computer chip, grab that. Oh, you can also come through right here and out. So there's two parts to this wreckage. So we're coming to this wreckage. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm underneath it. Yep, underneath. So basically I can come up from underneath to go in. And up above. So we're going to come to this wreckage to do so. We can come from above and below. So I'm going to leave my drone right here so I know where I'm going. To get, so also get me more titanium. And... Oh, there is 
because this is what is known as what we need. So I'm going to be coming down here to get that. And I will see you guys soon. Okay, we are back. We are alive. We're gonna head back to the Cyclops, which is over that way, so we can get this Kynite in safety. And holy shit! Every single time I see this guy, every time I see this guy, it is scary. A good launch is good. Calorie intake recommended. Yeah, I know. My potatoes rotted. There was kind of like closer. Ooh, I don't know if this is a good thing. Definitely do not recommend um, You know, there should be like something for like the piss. Get off! That's all I gotta say. He needs to get off. Okay, I I know I'm in a safe location here. Vital signs stabilizing. And it would have lovely helped if I had run, did I? Oh wow. Definitely, uh, yeah, I see my, my H2O going down. Can we still launch? Yes, we can still launch. Power is at 86. We're gonna save right here just to basically have a brief moment just in case I screw up with something. This, this place is stressful. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
we do they have the kyanite, which is good. It's what we need. Um, just leave them in remove all these and bring them into the ship while I'm here so we have them on hand. Yeah, I basically turned off everything in there. I don't care if the power is dead. I'm not putting any power in until I get all these buggers off. Emergency power only. Oxygen production. That is that is quite all right. I'm not staying long, dude. I'm just wanting to store in some stuff. So right now I'm holding my breath. Get this off me. Thirty seconds to make it to the pawn suit. I think we can make it to the pawn suit, no problem. We're charging up our one part. Thirty seconds. Yep, we made it. All good here. As long as we have power, um, we are good. I'm trying to find things. Warpers are just in mass production down here. I have to keep an eye on my power too. Uh, no. On this guy, but I do have power cells with me, so that's a good thing. Oh god. <sighs> Some kind of over here. like a good kind of sensation to get us freaking out. Gone into the wall. Why is he in the wall? I'm running for my life. He went into the wall. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, he's after me. Oh shit. <laughs> Is he gone? Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, let me up. That guy is so fucking scary. I've only got like a hundred left and I'm going up here. I have no clue what's up here.
launching up. What the fuck, man? Uh, uh. I just saw something above me. I saw something above me. I don't know what I saw. I'm going back down. You're more scary than that guy. Because you're faster. How go is Leviathan then? Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to. Come on, recharge faster. Oh my god, there's a ghost leviathan here. I'm literally fucked! How you doing, man? How you doing? Good to see you, too. Uh, fuck me! Uh, oh my gosh. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. Oh my god. I am right below? Though the ghost leviathan is like circling up above. My camera for... I have... This is a huge whatever. How you doing there, buddy? Circling around. Okay, so this is another entry point to this, going straight down, where the ghost leviathan is. But I went a different way. So we're going straight back down. So Kainai can only be mined. And we can hear the dragon. Hey big guy, hey big guy, hey. I'm just trying to explore your place. So leave me alone. Run me, me, run me, me, run. That's done. He sounds right behind me. He doesn't see me. I am freaking. No more God! <laughs> Oh, 
it's you! Oh, it's you! Oh my gosh, he was right behind me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Did. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. Distance. Pretty please. I don't know where to go down here. All I do know is I'm freaking the fuck out with that guy. How much I can tell you. This guy. storm, but I went in several places. I don't know where I'm going. I'm swinging at 282, just so I can look around down here. Because... I can't go any more than right here. But I don't really see anything. I'm gonna risk it. Just to lower myself a little bit. Oh, shut up! I'm busy freaking out with you already. Is 
something? Right here? It might be. It might be something right here. I don't know. You? Oh, uh, hi! 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 How do you see you there? Uh. I'm gonna have to risk going into max depth right now. because I want to do this beacon. I know, I, I'm fucking myself right now. I have to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Um. I am what you seek. Want to help you. Okay. But I'm hurting. I gotta get out. So right here's where it, ugh, I need to be. I need to repair. Okay, so we gotta make it over this way somehow. Oh, don't go down! Don't go down! This is bad. Yeah, the crest step is basically hurting it, but I'm repairing as best I can. My repairs are faster than the crest step. Okay, repairs complete. Entering. Okay, so right down there is where I need to go. But I have to get the mock one, two, or three, four done. <sighs> Which means it's back to Seamoth.
emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Understood. Deal with these jackasses. You've attached, you fuckers. You really want to piss me off. I was like, why can't I move? Son of a beep!
this. A hex blow. Blows. Oh my gosh, it takes so much of battery power just to get anywhere. I have to leave. We have to leave. We have to go back. Head back to the ghost tree. I know we'll probably get attached, but I gotta make that 6% last. Uh, when I make progress, guys, I'll get back with you. Oh, almost forgot to record, but here we are at the wreckage. <laughs> you have me. Here we are at the left. Torpedo arm. Is there anything else in here? Oh, I guess that's nothing. Let's put on our handy dandy thing because I've lost. Oh, oh shit. I'm electrifying myself. Way to go, me. Oh, I'm at 30 seconds. Look at that. Now I'm at 30, 30 seconds. Freaking seconds. No. Um, um. Oh god. No! No! Cyclops! Uh, fuck me. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I just killed myself just like that. Oh, I made it in. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do you kill yourself? Oh, you know, you just you just swim into an empty hole like so. You take forever. You don't watch your oxygen. And you lose track before you go. That's it. That's how you kill yourself. Lose track of every all your oxygen and whatnot and die. There's not the skin in here. And it's so freaking dark. Right, can I? No, because that's in the way. Okay. Okay. I gotta go back out. I, I've lost my bearings, that's why. Back out. Uh, the reason why I didn't grab my um, one suit is because. here and yeah so more or less the time I get there it's probably like at 200 seconds to do yeah it's definitely at 200 seconds before I can do anything and you can see all the magnite now it takes uh, my scanner room takes a while, but it covers a long distance, so I can see everything. That's why I like m my thing. If only I can use the scanner room to basically, you know, not lose my direction of where I was going. I think that's it. Okay, let's go out since I lost my bearings. Okay, the sun's coming out, so that's gonna be a plus. And see, even that right there is like losing my bearings. But I just came in here without the Cyclops and just, you know. I climbed up the ladder. Okay, we're gonna use Eternal so I can just see where I am. Okay, I'm Alright, let's go. There's one thing in here that we need to grab. We need to know if this is the thing I need data-wise. 
That is why I'm constantly trying to go in. So it's a consistency of basically trying to uh, not screw yourself over. So no up. Okay, we're out of this part. This is off my list. Okay, and go down one. Go down this one. This is the one. Yep, this is the one. Okay. This is not the one. That was the one. The one, the one, the one. You can always lose your bearings in here. I wonder how many people have lost their bearings trying to navigate. Like, once I get down to 100, and if I'm not where I need to be, it's more or less. I gotta go back up. Get the air. If I haven't made progress, it's more or less it's back up in the Cyclops. Making it a refreshing air. Yeah. Alright, down we go. Round we go. Uh, I don't think that was the one I was looking for. Okay, we're going up in you. And then down in you. Okay, so that's like a shortcut to go out. Was this the right way? Oh, yep, found it. Okay. Wait, 100 seconds. Yes! Oh, there we go. Scan you. 80 seconds. Sit around, look around, look around real quick. Okay. Can't go up that way. Can go up this way. Cyclops, there you are. Let's see, we're at 30 seconds already. Whew. Now, I could have gone down below, it'd be easier to get to there, but I feel like I'm still missing a part in there. But now that we have our sonar, well, well actually, we do need you on. Excuse me, Dwork. We'll make some coffee. And we'll grab some potatoes. Now the potatoes give out um, 12 and the lantern fruit give out 10. So they're pretty close to each other. And I didn't really need that much water. And by doing hitting it twice basically I get two. I put these lockers in for the exchanging of batteries. Two on one side. It kind of like I've seen this always happen. It's like off the wall. But yeah, I put battery, put the switching of batteries in here, so that way I don't have to go back and forth between them. So we need a computer chip and magnite. So good thing I'm going on that. Uh, as soon as I grab that, I will be right back with you guys. So I'm going to toy. Okay, so we just created our sonar, which we are going to put in. Right now, so we have created all of them, so we should be really good to go. Except for you know, this one has to get upgraded to Mach 3, but unfortunately, we can't do that until we get Kainite, and Kainite is down in the deeper part. So when we get that, then and only then we can uh, get there as easy as pie. So, I'm looking for sonar in the command room. Okay. Holy shit, that's cool. That is pretty cool. Does that work with cameras? 
Oh, hell yeah, it does. Hell yeah. That gives you, like, a really good feel. I'm actually looking at the power of T from using it. I have, okay, so it does go down slow, but it does show us, um, like, the whole entire map if, when we can't see anything. So that's very uh, useful. Unfortunately, it does suck up a lot of power. So whatever one is, like, down low right now is... Yeah, so basically getting your um, batteries upgraded would be a much needed plus. Yeah, it took down this battery to 59%. So I don't recommend, like, uh, using your... Um, batteries as much as you need to. I'm also going to need to remove the Kaya Magnite that I have in here and sort on my base. But yeah, that's a very useful tool to navigate the caves and whatnot to actually know where you're going. Very useful. Many likes. Many likes very much. Um, since I have upgraded... Welcome to my nightmare. It's the only way I get out. And it always happens when I'm having this thing out. And then I get glitches. And then I have to find the right ladder that will let me up. Nope, that threw me underneath. It ain't that ladder. It's not that ladder. This is one glitch I hope they fix. It's when it, you start getting like your base updated and whatnot. It's annoying as fuck. So none of my ladders are working right now. And you can see, even with a hatch, I like dip down like I'm squatting. But I'm not. I just want it in the fucking hatch, into my base. I think that's the point where I basically put uh, the hatch on... Um, Oh, I never showed you guys. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm actually making things go down now, so... Yeah. So once we beat the game, I kind of want to come back to my base. Grab the water while we're here. Water is essential. Oh, I grabbed that water. And then I went downstairs. Oh, I'm full up. Okay, well, we need water. And we also need food. I did grab some more quartz because I needed to put it in here. And we'll put the magnite away as well as soon as I find the right one. Here we go. Magnite. There we go. Also, we will charge up the battery cell. It's you. Put you in here. Uh, titanium. Only have uh, those. Uh, we'll put this back in random things because that's better to have that there. Uh, we need an aerogel. Lithium. And ruby. Grab lithium. Yeah. Definitely low on ruby now, too. So let's. I'm basically gonna probably think of grabbing my Seamoth and going ham and grabbing stuff. Because Seamoth is much faster. I put uh, water in first aid because you're, usually your water goes down a lot faster than anything else. Also, I need to eat. Num num. There we go. We're good. Gotta keep my boy healthy. 
Okay, so what do we all have? I have titanium and salt. Salt I basically just get rid of because that's what I made the trash can for. This is to get rid of the nuclear stuff, so we're good there. I know I'm sounding so freaking boring. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. But I definitely think the Seamoth is the fastest way to get like stuff except for down below, way down below, because max depth for Seamoth is 900, unfortunately. Yeah, basically what I'm doing is making things go down. I'm trying to basically make a ladder coming from up above all the way down. I don't know if it's going to work yet, but you know, I hope. And you can see my hull strength is going down. Well, that's only because I'm making this go down. Okay, so as far as I can go with you. Can we go any further down? I guess not. Guess he wants me to finish that up. If I can't build anything else down like that, then I'll make another like uh, room right there. And probably move this down some after we collect all the drones. <laughs> Don't want to make any more drones than I have to. Much yeah, I think I'm gonna just take out my sea monster and stuff like that. Uh, do I need anything more for him? Ponsu torpedo arm I could probably make, but I'm not going to. Uh, pull to propulsion cannon. Industrial strength propulsion cannon designed to fit the Alteria Ponsu. I would only think for this if I'm going to do battle, I, more or less you're going to just keep the ones that you usually do. See how I, I need Kainate for everything? <laughs> I just need it for everything. And then the upgrade is basically in there that I'll probably need some Kainate for too. Torpedo. A vortex torpedo generates a localized gravity distortion load. This to a vehicle torpedo. A gas pod. I haven't found those either. I haven't found gas pods, but it looks like you just use this for this. So more or less you're going to be, I'm going to probably be creating vortex torpedo. But not right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so a lot of farming still. I'll be back soon. Hey guys, Millie Spear here. How y'all doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. We are now entering the lava zone again, and hopefully I have enough batteries. I'm at 81%, which is great. I have a thing that basically if you go slow, you actually lost your power a lot longer. Uh, camera. Also, I know I'm gonna get attached by these freaking things. I hate them so much. So much. And so we are still going down since I figure out my down button again. Why aren't we going down? I'm heading down. Why aren't we going down? Okay, now we're going down. Okay! Oh, don't attach me. Yes, get hit, get hit, get hit. Oop. I need my camera because I gotta find the right spot here and hopefully I'm not heading in the wrong spot. We're going down low. Hi, Warper. Why do I feel like I'm going backwards? Don't attach, don't attach. Get away from me. These guys got me so nervous. Eh. I feel like we need to go this way, so 
I'm trying to line up. Look at him. Look at him all coming. Ah! That bastard. Oh no. They're attaching. <laughs> They're attaching. I hate them. I hate them so much. Just love entering the lava zone. Not really. Not with the freaking sucking of the suckers here. But I was actually trying to go up, and you find I found out. Uh, basically, the lava zone has the ion con battery, so no matter what I did, I still have to come down here. You get them. But we did do some upgrades with our kyanite crystals, so that's good. And... I want to be in a spot where I can dismount, but not be... How are we doing? Yeah, they're probably attached, aren't they? Yep, there they are. We're gonna go get rid of these suckers. What the? Why can't I leave? What the hell was that all about? Die! Not in the mood for your shenanigans. You dead? Good. Online. Awesome sauce. Power is at 80. We are going ahead slow. I need to use my ping so I can see where I'm going. You just needed to use it to basically uh, echo location of finding out where you need to go. Which is right over here. Because everything is usually dark and you run into you doggone it. So I really do like the sonar really well. The sonar is very helpful uh, trying to find uh, everything. Freaky Mr. Sucky of Suck. And it lets you know secret things, so... But it also costs a lot of HP. Even the shield does. It's like, uh, not a lot of HP, a lot of battery power. That's why I'm hoping I can get some really good ones. Yeah, I know. I'm using it up right now. to the right. I kind of want to be in a spot where I'm not going to be like uh, near Mr. Scary Man. I'm at 70. You all know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Here's the thing about this whenever I'm exiting uh, the ship here. Uh, the batteries. These are here. I recommend taking them out. Leave like one that's like really low, but take out the battery cells so you can basically. Um, I know I could take out that one. So you save your batteries. So I'm leaving in the 85. And I'm taking out the rest. So they can have a nice little fun little 30 second on that one battery power. And since I am too nervous with uh, bringing my Cyclops in and losing shit.
titanium is a must. So I see in like uh, recently they just fixed some bugs, so I'm hoping uh, I get back to my base. I could use my decoy, but I really want to save those in case I run into like the law event. And plus, I can stay at full energy, and I have repair tools, so we are good on this aspect. I have to just watch the health, because I think I'm pretty good in the love zone, because I'm probably going to stay pretty powered up. Because I have the thermal recharge, so I'm in the heated area, so we are good around here for power. I know I put my Seamoth right here, hopefully in a safe location. The only thing that gets me worried are the Warpers a lot because they're the ones that kick me out a lot. I hate them. Ah, there it is. Ow, 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 ow. Where is my baby? Pony suit. Oh, thank you. He really. Oh, you fucker! Oh, I'm safe. Whoa! I hate the warpers. I hate them the warp the most. Oh sh! This guy. This guy is a pest. It's like, leave me the hell alone. I'm trying to do shit. Go away! <laughs> He's a pest! He's Mr. Bitchy! I don't like Mr. Bitchy! No, I don't. <coughs> ah, the bitch! Ah, the bitch! Leave me alone! I'm trying to save you! <gasps> you fucker! You're killing me. He killed me. I hate warpers! Make it over there. Eh. You bitch of a friggin' warper. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. Leave me alone. Don't touch me! You have gerbs! And I don't like your gerbs! They're mean. They don't like your company. They like to kill you. How you doing? Please don't kill me. I like my life. I don't like him. He makes me mad. He makes me mad. They make me mad. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. 
like I'm about 500 miles away. I'm looking for um, certain things before I head down. Like I have to really explore this area. I don't like that sound behind me. I really don't. How you doing? How's life? I don't mind me. I'm just exploring your area. <laughs> don't hurt me. I'm in a fit. <laughs> that was full on full on panic. I didn't know how fucking close he was. Like everything down here wants to fucking kill me. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, it's you. Oh, um. Hi, I go back in here, okay? You don't have to hurt me. You do not have to hurt me. I am. Okay, so we're at the head of the Leviathan here. And he's a good source of trying to find things. Don't hurt me, 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 don't hurt me. Hi, buddy! You can go away now! <laughs> Please go away! Okay. Okay. I He's a dragon. He likes to kill me. I don't like the dragon. I need to repair here. I went in. I'd rather it be at full health. <laughs> yeah, eat him. Eat that friggin' thing. Okay. So we have the dragon, or the leviathan here, the dead one. I think it's the tail end, so I'm not really sure. Like, there's a temple somewhere around here, like a, a little cave of some sort that I am trying to find. There's a scary man after me. I don't like this scary man. He kind of scares me. <laughs> Especially when you can hear him. <laughs> You're not coming in here, are you? No. Okay. Okay. He's not coming in. He's not coming in. I'm okay. I'm okay. There is a ghost leviathan I know that is way up there. I'm trying to find... He still he, he wants me. He wants my booty. He wants my booty. Go away, Mr. Scary Man. Go away. Go away, Mr. Scary Man. 
You'd be great to like ride if you were friendly, but no, you're you're the opposite of friendly. You're you're so the opposite of friendly. I am climbing up this one here in hopes to find a certain thing. I've touched down. Oh. 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 We look clear. I do not know where this is. I'm I'm basically investigating everything right now, like crevices and whatnot. There's nothing here. It's like where the heck did they move this cave to? Trying to make my way. I know I'm getting low on food. I didn't bring food. Push. Oh yeah, I do have food. It's in, it's in the back of you. Whew. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode right now. As Billy tr has a freaking heart attack from the freaking Leviathan, big dragon, like creature, tentacle man, and Leviathan scaring the absolute crap out of her. <sighs> I really don't know. Hi, dude. Excuse me while I rest here. Oh, hi! How you doing, Leviathan? Ghost Leviathan, ladies and gentlemen. Ghost Leviathan. This is why he probably comes around this way. To scare off the ghost Leviathan. But I came around this way because I am in hopes. Hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you. You don't have to spit that shit at me. Hi there. Don't mind me. I'm just here basically um, looking uh, around for a certain area thing. Have you seen it? You know, it's just to cure y'all. If you come down to me, man, I am so gone. You have no idea how gone I'm going to be. Uh, can you go away now? You're circling. Go away. I'm trying to come up just so I can look around. Is that okay with you? Hello? Anything here but you? Hi. You went into the wall. Ooh, you were after Sean. So I don't think there's anything this way. I, I really don't unless I am blinded and I'm not really sure where it's at. Walk 